Hi, Susan. Hi, Jerry. Did you have a nice birthday? I did. <laughs> Happy birthday, Vincent. I know yeah, it's Vincent a little belated. A too, so it's, it's been interesting, you guys. Harry actually joined me on my birthday, so that was nice. I felt so bad, I forgot. I, I had it written oh, down, okay. and I didn't look up my book after that. I go back. Oh, you know what? It was kind of ruined. What? Because the bar had another function and they decided to have loudspeakers and everything. So you had it, was, it at a bar? Yeah. Oh. And I shouldn't have. I should have I should have done it at a bar, but just the bar that my group goes to. So and then I got another birthday surprise. Uh oh. I got COVID. No. <laughs> um, How'd you do that? Now that's a gift that keeps on giving. I don't know how I got COVID. You don't know uh, much, I do you? I think people at my birthday party are okay. I was socially distanced with most everyone, except for my mom and a guy that sat <laughs> right beside me. But hmm. he's fine, I'm, I'm hoping. It takes 14 days to gestate, so... How could you have had it so quickly? Well, today is Thursday. When did you find out you had COVID? I found out on Tuesday. Is that normal? Because yeah. I thought we used to, I don't know. I'm not paying attention anymore. I thought <laughs> no. it used to be like. Um, well, I'm diabetic. Days <laughs> later. And if I was to catch anything, I would catch it at the snap of a finger. So I am. Um, so how do you feel i mean besides yeah how's it been oh it's it's been rough so every few hours i start feeling better and then i go downhill and then i start feeling better and then i go downhill like it kind of goes it's like a yo-yo kind of goes up and then it goes down and then I get a stuffed nose, and then my nose is fine. And then I get a sore throat, and then the sore throat goes away. And then I get a headache, and then the headache. Uh, God. You know, so it's just all that stuff. And you guys are seeing my messy place. So You're going to have to move. <laughs> I want to change that. So, uh, Vincent, Hi, Jim. I'm in the way. Hi. Vincent, is this something that showed up since Sunday? Uh, yes, uh, not not on Sunday, on Tuesday. So getting they probably, what, is this? what is this allergies or COVID. no COVID? I got oh. COVID. Oh, yeah. He went to a bar on Saturday. Yeah, yesterday. Jim was there. Jim actually. Oh, oh he knows person. Jim. By the way, <laughs> he's got yeah. COVID. <laughs> you were there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just got my third COVID uh, vaccine shot uh, as of uh, um, yesterday. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Yeah. Still I don't know. Get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just like I, I got it. I guess I'll see if I uh, if I get anything. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope you don't. I hope nobody does. Yeah. I don't know. I that might would be. That would make you feel very guilty. Yeah. Uh, I would. I would feel very, very guilty. Yeah. But they could have gotten I, it from the same place you got it. Doesn't mean. No. <clears throat> now I do understand that uh, when Pan got a very mild case. Uh, so I'm, I, I'm kind of one. I kind of wonder whether I got one or got a very mild case at some point. Well, um, I know I I know it hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm -hmm. I got the home testing kit, and I guess I didn't use it right. Mm. But then I talked with my doctor, and she said. Those home testing kits usually don't show anything 
for a few days. So you have to wait a couple of days. Then it shows. Mm -hmm. And so I tested today and the home kit, yeah, definitely showed <laughs> positive. My, uh, my, my brother his, uh, and his uh, younger daughter's family all got COVID uh, about a week ago. Oh, uh, yeah. They, uh, uh, they had come down to uh, Canmore uh, and rented a suite. And uh, my brother, he uh, babysat their youngest boy as a toddler and uh, uh, Thursday or Wednesday night uh, the one daughter uh, comes down with uh, uh, a high temperature it was 104 Woo. oh yeah <coughs> that's 104 so, Celsius for everyone else <laughs> no that's not <laughs> And, or no, uh, that no, that's Fahrenheit. That's, that's Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> that, if that was Celsius, yeah. she'd be cooking. She'd her, her blood be yeah. boiling. Yeah. So, that sort of mistake just makes my blood boil. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, makes me his daughter, way. daughter's family uh, went directly back home. They live in Edmonton, and uh, uh, my brother uh, stopped. Uh, on the way back and had lunch with us and we weren't really worried about you know if we got COVID or anything like that but the next day my brother started feeling like shit like you Vincent yeah and uh, uh, he he has it uh, his daughter her husband their two older <laughs> girls but not the toddler oh, oh that's good <laughs> Yeah. Was everybody and, vaccinated against it? Oh yeah, they were all f fully vaccinated. I, I don't think the toddler. Well, yeah, a toddler can't get vaccinated. But uh, uh, yeah. the girls, within a couple of days, they were over it. <laughs> oh, I wish I was over it, but no, it's <laughs> hanging on. Yeah, no oh. fun, no fun at all. I don't no, want to hear it. I I am planning a trip of a trip of mag magnificent proportions yeah. this month, and I don't want to have any issues. Yeah. And whatever. Oh, Carl, I'm coming to St. Louis. Yeah. When? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh, got you. Yep. I haven't picked the day yet, but it's in May. What for? Well. Isn't it, isn't it obvious I'm coming to, to come see you? <laughs> I contacted the uh, Skeptic Halo Skeptical group. Society. Yeah, and they said, we definitely want you to come here. Oh, yeah. I, geez, I suggested you a long time ago. Oh, well, I had to write to them first. And they said, yes. And then they called themselves a fall, flyover, flyover city. Yeah. I don't see how St. Louis could be a flyover city. We but usually just, drive there. Well, yeah, you know, I just, I just seemed odd. That's a huge city. So it, it is, but oh, come on, Kansas it, and Missouri. No, I mean, it's a St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis, Louis. I mean, I mean obviously, it's got its so, own song. Why, why, why would anyone go to St. Louis in general? Because I want to see things. I want to go. Oh, but I'm just saying, we we don't get we we tend not to get big conventions or things. Well, you should fix that. So there. Isn't there I, something special about St. Louis? Like there's lots of things special about St. Louis. But. There's there's something special about it that I well it's right at the uh it's it's right near the uh where several big river it's the, yeah, river it's at the confluence of the Missouri and Mississippi River. And uh, oh. and, the, and the Ohio uh meets the Mississippi not very far away. Not too far away, yeah. Yeah. So that that made it pretty much the center transportation center for quite a while. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, I'm that, so that, glad. So I'm that's so what's going to happen. I'm going to go see a ton of people, I hope. Hopefully everybody who I, who can see me, I'm going to go. I'm staying at Romero's. I hope that's he a long that. drive to St. Louis. I hope he, <laughs> I hope to Romero knows. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's a long drive. No, I'm going to yeah. go there second. I'm going to DC. 
and then to uh, North Carolina. I got my I got my airfare. And Romero, I'm bringing Adrian. Okay. Yeah. You may want to uh, the couch. <laughs> put your food in the fridge downstairs. Eh? There's that big. Uh... Look at that giant cat that's coming to get uh, us. What are you looking at, kitty? Meow. Here comes kitty, a little kitty, sprout. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, Carl, this is very concerning. You see my background, and I see your yeah, background. Yeah, I see your background. <laughs> uh oh. We may have a first here. There's Abby. Yeah. No, we had we had Pike from London, Ontario. We had that both. So I was just playing a pre-trivia trivia game at a bar at a bar, um, and awful. I'm very annoyed at one of their questions. Uh oh. Um, the question was, um, which logical fallacy has an animal in the name? Red herring. Yeah, that's the answer, but it's not a logical fallacy. It is. No, it's yeah. not. It's a oh, literary right. device. It's not no, it's a logical listed, fallacy. It's, it is listed as a logical right. fallacy anywhere you look. It should not be. It is a All literary right. device that is right. not a logical fallacy. So you're Sorry. talking about the black swan fallacy? No, the the answer was the was the red herring, huh. but it is not a logical fallacy. So what did you put? Red hair? Or you put black we swan? We didn't think we couldn't, we couldn't think of it. Oh, well, black swan would have worked. Yeah, but um, but red herring is not a logical fallacy. It is a literary device. Everyone in the world thinks it is. Give it up. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> it is I not a literary. It is not a it's, it's just like I think. I think no no, no Mexican person should pronounce their name Jesus. I'm sorry, it's Jesus. How how did <laughs> How is it a logical fallacy? It has absolutely nothing to do with logic. I can't believe I'm hearing this from, from Rob Palmer. I can see it coming from Avi, not Rob Palmer. Okay, it's something, it is something that is intended to mislead. It's not a logical fallacy. Yeah. That's something that's intended to mislead. It's a literary device. But I, guess it I guess it, I guess it, it doesn't that, have to be a no, literary device. not just device. a literary device. Terry, where it, are you at again? If you're writing Kansas something City? intended to mislead, oh, Missouri. that is not a I'm in Kansas fallacy, City. literary device. I'm actually in Shawnee, Kansas, which is a suburb That's of right. Kansas I've City. I've asked you that probably three times. I That's okay. It's easy to forget Shawnee. And no, it's not a reservation. <laughs> oh. Shawnee is where Did you have uh, reservations? plant technology, our plant tissue culture company is located do you know that company is it quest no it's a lab supplies oh no it specializes in plant tissue culture nice and that they're, they're great they spun off from sigma chemical ah yeah I and specialize right is sigma in shawnee i don't know where it is i but i heard of it mm. nice shirt avi Love it. I I guess plant tissue culture wouldn't Works. necessarily be GMO, but uh, I suppose uh, it would be helpful for doing that sort of thing. Um, I've used it for both, mm -hmm. just propagation and for uh, uh, transformation. Yeah. That's exciting. Uh, we're famous. Yeah. <laughs> they were so, really uh, good. This guy, Gary. Oh, my <laughs> God. If I ever had a question, Gary was the person. I... So, Susan, I can only stay for two uh, two sessions today. Okay. Well, we better make them good. Yeah. It's Peggy and Rob. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so uh, Peggy delicious. might try to kill somebody off. So I don't know. You know, Peggy is. There's it's, red herring. It's yeah. still wrong. It is not logical a logical. Fel. I don't care. Oh, well, it is they're, not they're... logical. Fel. It has nothing to do with logic. Oh, I see what you mean. Terry, you there are a lot a, of logical There's no group over there's no skeptic group over in your area that I could hightail it over to to uh, Kansas City. Do you like do you like do you like the uh, do you like the skeptic. example I came up with? Your claim that I just committed the red herring fallacy, but do you know that there was actually no such fish species with that name? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Yeah. It, oh yeah, the can I don't know anything about them. Terry, I'm new so at there this. is a group. Well, there's Kansas I will, City. This is a literary skeptic. device. That is not a logical fallacy. Oh, you're not. You're right, not you you, you, go, you die you? on that hill, Ali. Well, I, I talked to, yeah, I was talking to Chicago fallacy. and the, the Chicago skeptics, and they said that they're, I said, you know, I'd like to come up to Chicago. And they're like, oh, there's nothing there anymore. And I'm like, in the whole city of Chicago, 
There really? is no skeptics group. You've got to be freaking kidding me. That's yeah, amazing. And he, That's said, sad. he said, no, he says, uh, he, it was Jeff Wag. He says, skepticism is, as a community is dying if it's not already dead now. He said he mm. went to Salem, Oregon. And in Salem, Oregon, and Janine and I know exactly who he's talking about. He went there to one of their meetups and they didn't even know who Randy was. And he <laughs> said that, uh, he can't even believe it. And then he said, um, he asked them what was skepticism. And they said social justice. Well, there are, there are people. Where was this? Salem, Oregon. Oh, that's the Salem humanists. They they have no clue. Yeah, well, yeah, he said it was a there skeptic. Are, there are. It must be the oh, I guess City. that's the CFI group. No, he said, I think he meant it was. No, I don't think it'd be CFI, wouldn't it? It was that? not the Cherry City skeptics. But they tend to be very um, socially conscious. The Cherry City. There, there are, and that is not skeptic. That is not that, that group at all, because I'm part of that group. We said it was a few years ago. Mm -mm. But he says it's dying if it's not already dead. And I said, Well, I'm that trying was, to bring it back. So get out of the way, old man. Salem humanist. Yeah, there are, are humanists. of course there are people are more humanist or atheist or social justice than they are. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. but golly, I was just like, what? So, um, that's why Kyle, we I have a different you. group. Good evening. Hey, Kyle. Hello. So, anyway, he said that, and then I had a long talk with Brian Dunning. Um, I asked him about his trip. He did 13 talks in 13 days and 13 different places. Yeah, he, was he said he went 8,000 miles in this Tesla. He didn't make any money. It was supposed to be a you know a fundraising thing. He didn't make any money. No. And he said it was right at the beginning of Omicron. So he had low turnout, but he said he had a blast. He said he met people, fans, and had a great time. And he loves road trips. So I because I had asked him, was it a success doing the road trip he did? And he said, Oh God, here comes a red herring. Oh. <laughs> I, I, Chef, I, online size how the RTP and the bonuses affect the chances. What? Um, website entirely about promoting gambling. As big as their URLs been and taken the over. Skeptics.net. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Yeah. So the they let their URL expire and. Oh, uh, how awful. Awesome. But why would somebody take that over for a totally different topic? Bammy. We're going much. through that now, reestablishing oh, our website after our Scott taken over. I'm going to tell, tell him. The, um, wow. So it's, it's just such a shame. But Brian Denning, I told him, I said, I guess it depends on what you mean by a success. Because getting out, he said he met lots of people and, uh, you know, got to hang out with people and he had a good time and he had loved his road trip. It just didn't hit any of the things that he had intended it to hit. But, you know, so it was a success in some areas, some not. So I'm setting my expectations of what I, my goal is for my road trip, not to get COVID, <laughs> not to give anything, nothing like that, but have some turnout. Our, uh, our numbers are rising in um, Calgary. Yep. So, Rates are going up in Oregon too. Yeah, we have to, I, I have to. Now, legally speaking, I have to be more vigilant about masking and can't go to certain places. My mom was even angry. At me. She says, well, you're not masking and you're going out to this place and you're going out to the bar and you're going out. Like, no wonder you got it. Yeah, that's so, very high risk behavior. I guess so. I mm -hmm. didn't think it would be. but it, did, did you see what happened today when... Uh... Saki was questioned about why it was okay for Pelosi to kiss Biden and you know they're not calling that a close contact did you hear that no mm -mm. sounds like just a reason reason to bitch what's the problem well because Pelosi tested positive uh one, one day after she was really close and in fact you know gave uh, Biden a kiss and so the press asked the question well like you know should they be doing that basically and she said, well, according to the CDC, that's not a close contact because it takes 15 minutes. Well, the CDC hasn't updated their freaking thing since Delta. 
because we've had two variants which are like each time 10 times more infectious than the previous one. And they're still going with the old statement, even from the White House. That is ridiculous. Mm. You know, I, when Omicron came around, I heard uh, a, vi a virologist say that unlike the Delta version, where it maybe was 15 minutes and you had to be breathing a lot of the virus, if you walk into an elevator where someone coughed, you could get sick. Yeah, I, mean, I remember that. Same as measles. So, and then this one is even worse. So they're just pretending like it's all the same thing from a year ago, which is yeah. awful. But you know what? There's I been a lot I don't of emphasis on wearing better masks. Well, except the CDC basically just N95. recently said, well, you don't have to wear one. Yeah, there's I am some not wearing here. masks anymore, you guys. I, so there if you I go. go into a hospital or a doctor's office, I'm wearing a mask. Is, in that's a what's store happening. Or a restaurant, I'm done. That's, that's why it's spreading. Yep. Yeah. That's why but I've got my fourth vaccine. No. I'm not I'm not done with math by any means. No. no, I posted on my either. Facebook page today because like I am the only one who goes into the dance thing to go and me and my only people with masks out of 50 people. Yeah. And, and I have to feel like the freak, but they're freaking wrong. Yep. Yeah. I'm with you there, Rob. Well, I'm with I, you, Rob. <laughs> now legally speaking, I have to mask everywhere. Everywhere. But you're not supposed to go anywhere. And that's legal. When you're done, no, once, your once, uh, done. so I'm under quarantine. So once the quarantine is done, I have to mask everywhere. So, Why? Yeah. For how long? Uh, for an extra five days or mm -hmm. until the symptoms are completely gone. Wait, you actually have COVID? Yeah. Yes. And yeah. you're isolating. Yes. Quarantine is if you've been exposed and don't have not Tested positive or something, you quarantine. No, no. Well, then when I'm you... isolating. I am yeah. isolated, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't even go and take care of my mom or anything. So right. yeah. Well, that's a terrible it. birthday gift. Sorry to hear that. Wow. Yeah, it really is. Hi, Jane. Yeah, Hi. I was exposed. I was exposed the day before my birthday, but oh. I, I test I tested negative Tuesday, so mm. and I feel fine. I don't think I have it. Oh, you're so lucky. How long after the exposure were you? Was the test? Tuesday. Uh, the, okay, the exposure was uh, Wednesday, and then I tested Tuesday. And so I told Jeff Bragg about good. the Chicago skeptics page, and he says, "Oh, I bet they get a lot of traffic." I think he's being sarcastic. <laughs> so I, I had it. I got it. I got it on New Year's Eve, which was Friday, and I tested negative on monday when i started having symptoms and i go oh, it's just a cold and then the next day it could have been missed it was barely positive uh, so it, it took oh. from friday to third to wednesday to to be sure i was positive yeah that's why i waited there's miss peggy i'm gonna hmm. give you the controls now i was fortunate i was able to go to the hospital and get tested so they have uh an old hospital they used to be a children's hospital and uh, everyone just calls it the old children's hospital and they have a drive-through <laughs> testing. Is that an oxymoron, old children? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you get, uh, Vincent, those, those did you adults, get right? antivirals yeah. or monoclonals? Are the children there, do the children there have progeria? Uh, it's the monoclonal. Do they have what? Do you... It's no, no. Progeria. You got monoclonals yeah. then? P, uh, it's a PCR oh, yeah. test. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I mean treatment. Oh, treatment. No, I can't get the treatment. I don't qualify for any treatment. Really? Why? Because oh, I'm terrible. triple vaccinated. Oh, really? So they're okay. just telling me to wait it out. Wait it out. Yeah, wait it out. And that's uh, not it, that's not what uh, this week in virology is saying. Yeah, well, so, th so that's but what happened to me in January, too. Too late. Get, your, get yourself some Liverbectin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Bleach, bleach. Straight injection of bleach. Just go ahead and get a horse. Yeah. Just go bleach, right to the horse. <laughs> Trying to flashlight up your ass. I think. Yeah. 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 But no, I get no, uh, I get no relief. The only relief I get <laughs> is uh, Tylenol. That's it. I get no satisfaction. Hi, Kara. I, I would, I would have insisted, but how many days has it been now? Uh, it's been uh, three days. You probably could sense, sense mm. symptoms. 
yeah. Okay. You probably could still <laughs> insist on, you could, they start with uh, Paxlovid and, or uh, the monoclonal antibody. Yeah. I, I asked them and the doctor isn't even allowed to prescribe it. What? Things yeah. are different in Canada. I've heard uh, have, have, so, you, no. have you just tried uh, uh, taking uh, nighttime cold medicine all day? And just that way you just go to sleep. I'm not allowed to take uh, the nighttime cold medicine. He's diabetic, oh. so I might have some sort of. Uh, oh. Now, yeah. so, now since, since, since I went to Vi uh, Vincent's birthday party, Hi, Kevin. should I be informing people that uh, I might have been exposed? Uh, technically speaking. Only if you want to be. Yes. yes. <laughs> Only if you yes. want to be isolated I'd, yourself. But you don't have to. It's if you don't uh, have any symptoms, okay. don't worry about it. I mean, how wait, would you know? Wait, I wait five know. days and then get yourself tested. Mm. Like, yeah, you can I, get the I, uh, self yeah, test. I thing. didn't know that I was positive <laughs> until like Tuesday. So when my birthday was Sunday, and I was feeling fine on Sunday, I was feeling great on Sunday. I was feeling great on Monday and then Tuesday something was wrong so I went and got tested and sure enough so well so with the Omicron variant unlike again the previous versions it spreads earlier in the course of illness in fact you can start spreading it a day after you get it yourself yeah yeah so, just a and, 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 and it's in fact like <laughs> most likely you're going to spread it to somebody then because you don't even know you're sick I just, I just feel so happy when I'm around you guys talking about <laughs> yeah. endless the, talking yeah, the, about. There, there, there's a new oh, variant yeah. of Omicron, isn't there right yeah. now? As, yep. Yeah, which is yeah. even worse. And that one's, than yeah, it's even yep. uh, more infectious. Yep. And, and, and so I, I just posted a link that I posted on my Facebook page today about a, a, a doctor talking about how ridiculous the CDC was with the recent mass messaging just at the time when this variant is now spreading in the US. Well, I guess then I'm lucky in that nobody was around me on the day that I found out because um, I was by myself. So I guess that's got to be said for something. So I asked my mom if she has any symptoms and it's like, no. I asked other people if they had symptoms and it's like, no. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed and it's like, please don't have spread it to them. Okay. Well, so yeah. I don't know how easy, it's pretty easy to get test kits around here now. If it is that way where you are, I would suggest they get, they test themselves. The only reason why I was able to get tests is because I'm type two diabetic. I mean, they don't like have them in pharmacies like they do here now? They do have them in pharmacies, but you have to be, they're not very accurate. Like when I got it from the pharmacy, I tested myself and it was negative. But then my doctor explained to me, she says, oh yeah, those, those things you have to wait like a couple of days before you're yeah. infected. Then you'll show that you're- Well, yeah, but- Three okay, to five so, days. Yeah, but here's the scoop on that. What they're showing is how infectious you are, not that it's in your body. It doesn't really matter if you have it in your body and you can't infect anyone else. So, so the-, the uh, Antigen test, that's what they that's what they test positive for. That there's enough in your nasal cavity that's showing that you're infectious. You've got to have a high enough level of that's the right. virus. That's right. To have it show up and that's correlates with the level that makes you infectious. That's right. Oh, okay. So oh, in fact, okay. the other test that you took is like, you know, a, a, like almost a false positive, because it doesn't almost really matter if yeah. you have it in your body and you can't give it to anybody else. Oh, okay. Well, I'm kind of surprised I, the doctor didn't know Jeff, that. Jeff, is Julie going to be playing tonight? Which is uh, why it bothers me no, that you're out the next diabetes. <clears throat> she's out the next few weeks. your age and they're not treating you. Well, no, they told me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I even got a call from a doctor on call that, no, you just stay at home. and. Do you get a hold of the frontline doctors yet? Yeah, well, that's who I called. <laughs> America's frontline dogs. Oh, oh America's. Oh. <laughs> no, the ones up here, they have to do what the government says. Mm. And the government says, 
as cheap as possible. So Romero, add faith to your thing, um, Jeff. But I don't have okay, uh, so, but I'm able to breathe just fine, and that's what they're. Do you have doing. an oxygen meter? I don't. If you can get one of those, those are really cheap. Like CVSs have those for like twenty bucks around. Oh. Are you right. sending us to rooms now, Susan? Yeah, Going to I'm the done. room. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, Susan. Hmm? Way to go. So who's? Oh, it happens. If you have an eye watch, you can measure your oxygen level. Mm. Um. Are we calling your name? Yep. Oh, I should put this on pause, otherwise everybody can see me talking to myself. Isn't that amazing? You can talk to me. Well. So I finally got a message back from my brother who uh, came down with COVID uh, on Saturday. And Ooh. He's not 100% yet, but uh, he says, uh, still have a cough from time to time. Uh, but otherwise, <laughs> and and he was fully vaccinated. You know, three vaccines. Wow! And... I remember when we um, when COVID first came out. I guess you guys can put your minds back a couple of years, and you think about when somebody said they had COVID, or somebody in the middle, uh, like a somebody in you know big had COVID. We were all like, "Oh shit! Oh my god!" Now it's like, "Oh, Merrick Garland got COVID." Oh, Polos has got COVID. <laughs> it just, it's so well, nice not to be, you know, they're not going to die and have a, any of that. You don't know I, that. People I are had still, the, I had the laugh when. Uh, people are Trump, still dying from it. People are still. Oh, yeah. have, that are fully vaccinated. Some, it depends uh, if, if you remember when, uh, you remember when Trump uh, came down with it? Oh my and, God. One of and, and then he, and then he went back to the White House and he's, Telling you everybody he's great and I just mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks terrible. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he didn't die. Oh god. Do you know if Damn Adrian it. is gonna be on tonight, uh, Susan? Do I know what what? If Adrian is gonna be on tonight? Uh I don't know. Don't know. Oh. I, I talked to her yesterday and I've talked to her the day before, but we didn't mention oh. her yet. Oh, you're stupid. Uh, she gave me a really, really excellent uh, birthday present that I can actually share with the whole group. It's like a it cameo. So she got a celebrity to sing happy birthday to me. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Take a That's guess. Any at Take a guess at which celebrity it was. Richard Mark Saunders. Rock. Richard Saunders. Yeah, to say Richard Saunders. <laughs> but I'll give you a hint. No. They have been a subject of an entire <laughs> trivia round. Billy Eilish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Eilish. Um, <laughs> Billy Eilish. 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 Billy Eilish
Not John Delancey. Somebody no. really cool. Uh, Billy Joel. It wasn't me. It was Kyle. Kyle? Kyle no, he was, hasn't had a whole round about him. Susan Gerbic. He, he was on HGTV. Oh, that's right. Actual musician. I'm, I saw Can him. Can I get a Wikipedia page now? I saw <laughs> it. I, do. Uh, I was with Jim and well, I was watching. Maybe you should share it now, Vincent. You got them all eating out of your uh, hand. Yeah. Do, do they, I? They, yeah, share it now. Rob. Yeah. yeah, we want to know. Okay, okay. Let no, me he hasn't had a whole category. Let me, share Jane. Jane. Let me share the screen and I'll bring it up. Word out. Don't forget to share video and sound. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, it should be up because I did it. Nope. Where is it? Did it's it. It's all looking at y'all. No, I, I brought it up. At least I think I did. Uh, Billy Joel doesn't do that. It's beneath him. Yeah, Billy Joel fits the category. He's alive. At so Paula Alphone. Uh, Peggy's finished with him tonight. Yeah. Paula Alphone Al keeps changing her appearance. Yeah, Weird Al. <laughs> so, so John Delancey, well, you'll, John you'll Delancey see, does you'll see, do it. You'll see who it is. Okay, I'm waiting. Yeah, I know. And and That's Kylie Simon. Emo Phillips. <laughs> Not Emo Phillips. No way. <laughs> oh, weird. Wow. Wow. You are kidding me. Now who's smart? Oh, hey Vincent, how you doing? Al here. Oh my God. Listen, um, I, I know you're super busy. You got a lot going on. Uh, I, I really hate to bother you, but um. Well, there, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, and I'm oh afraid God, I just can't is. wait any longer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vincent. Happy birthday to you. Oh, no way. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Isn't that great? But I assume that audio is only off because you're streaming it on Zoom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is that I, how, how the heck does she do that? That must have cost a fortune if that's really Weird Al and that must be CGA. really Vincent. Our it, Vincent. Uh, well, that really uh, is Weird Al Yankovic, and she really did do it. Yeah, it's and it was definitely to me. That is the freaking most elaborate one I've ever seen. That's cool. Really? Yeah. Oh, I my mom was in tears. Wow. Usually, usually they just impressed. talk to the camera. Yeah. Now you get a Wikipedia page. That's wow. cool. Yeah. That's yeah. very cool. You know, now, I, my you birthday's know, coming up in August. Where's Adrian? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Weird Al was born the same year as my wife, but his hair's nicer. Oh. <laughs> she didn't hear. I'm recording. You better watch out, Bob. <laughs> no, I got. I woke her up. Did you see my comment from the other night when I yelled and I said I just woke my wife up? <laughs> I, I found it, <laughs> and I I went up the next morning. I said, "Hey, I, did I wake you up?" She goes, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> oh, I hope that it wasn't copyright material. Well, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think yeah. that's been on his album. I don't think so. Mm, probably not. But, not yet. Who's doing I, rounds tonight, Susan? Well, I'm glad you asked. Carl with mm -hmm. a K. So they say. Am I the only one that calls you that? Like that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta be unique. Okay, Peggy's up first. Miss Peggy. Miss Peggy is better not be killing anybody off tonight. Mm -hmm. And that we want killed off. I mean, we don't want killed off. All the answers are already dead. Oh, oh good. Yeah. That's so <laughs> So maybe they oh, turn to zombies. It works the other yeah, way. Yeah, so you bring them back. Oh, that and then awesome. Robert Palmer is 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 reaching us from the great state of New Jersey. And then we have Carl, as we know, on third round. 
And Robin, who has not arrived yet, is on fourth round. And bonus is eighth. And I should notice I have nobody next week. So just keep that in mind. And I will be announcing that I will be doing a tour of the United States coming up here really soon. And when I'm touring, I will not be running trivia. And I may or may not make it to trivia. Just depends. Oh, here comes Caspian. So I will announce that soon. Caspian. What part of the US are you touring? Uh, 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 not the part that's in Germany. <laughs> not California. <laughs> um, I hope you not the most popular state, huh? Hmm. Uh, lots of other places. Okay, let me see. Where am I going to put cats? Right. The top of Paula's head is my favorite. Um, uh, I don't have to do my makeup this way. I just got home from work. Yeah. Well, that's, that's where all tired. the thinking. Uh, We're supposed to put makeup on. That's where all the thinking <laughs> happens, anyway. Yeah. So, so uh, that's is where that, it is. Yeah, he's got his his rouge on. Yeah. So Ms. Phone there <laughs> is. Uh, hey. And his flower. Okay, I'm going to add Caspian to room three. So let's go with our let's go with our categories. We've got Ben. I'm not categories. Our group names. We have Ben, Jane, Larry, and Peggy. Peggy, you're muted. I'm not hearing anything. I'm sorry. Scared. Jeff, are you going to type her? You're still muted, Peggy. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Now working out. And I'm having a problem with my little chat function. Uh oh. <clears throat> Bro. Here it goes. Ben slaves of Gryffindor? Gryffindor. Oh, what, what's up with that? Well, Ben's reading a story to his kid tonight, and it's Harry Potter. Uh -huh. And so he's not talking to us. He just is having us do everything. Oh, well, <laughs> That's a long Here's book, so evidence. he's going to be he's gonna be there. Yep. So how does that work if one of the categories is Harry Potter? Oh, I see. He's got it right there. Then I know all the answers. He's allowed to know whatever page he's already open to. You want, a, you want a category on Harry Potter because I will be on your team and you'll kick ass. Okay. Plus, that's some really weird stuff, like who the actors are or something. I don't know any of those things. You the weird stuff. Robbie, Steve, Jeff, Rob, and Deborah. You're not a red herring. We're not a red herring. The red came from. All right. We Potter. haven't had a Harry Potter category. We've had, yeah, we've had them. Okay. I did a generic, really. Generic. What about a Lord of the Rings category? Oh, there you go. That'd be Maybe. fun. No, we have. How have we not had that? We I, could one on the Cimmerillion and put that yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no, <laughs> step too far. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Punching Judy all over again. Okay, so oh. Carl, Kevin, Paula, Vincent, and Caspian. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. Oh, I know. Oh. I'm sure Caspian loves that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so cool. I haven't looked at the news and seen that, but I, I have heard, no I saw idea what like, that means. KBG got confirmed today. She's yeah. going to play oh, yeah. fire in a few oh. months. I was so freaking awesome. Let's see. Here come the judge. Wasn't, they put it wasn't, wasn't that on last in? Was yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Order in the court now. Yeah. Here come the judge. <laughs> <laughs> I get the best stuff on this recording. Okay, so group four: Jim, Keurig, Kyle, and Terry. So Keurig can sh show who Cooper is. Keurig. 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 I mean. Oh, Cooper's crew. Yeah. Cooper's crew. That, oh, there we are. Yeah. Carrie. Hi, Cooper. Carrie. Yeah. Hi, Cooper. Welcome back, Carrie. <clears throat> yes. I know better. Oh, good. My phone couldn't handle Zoom. Yeah, that's your dad was saying. <laughs> Frustrating. Bob, <coughs> Faith, Romero, Jamie. Here. Um, Russian hackers come from Siberia. Siberia, get it? Siberia. Oh, that's I love puns. Puns are good. Puns are good points. This might be a winning team because they've got a <laughs> The shortest route between two puns is a straight line. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. Friend. That does make sense. Oh, the same as the worms. Okay. So we are starting on on uh, 
game, this is our game 101. So exciting, 101, yes, yes. Kyle's doing the hand signals, thank you very much. So Someone 101. Does, someone's not doing a category about Dalmatians. Oh, I hope somebody is. Um, 101 of them, and their names are Pongo and it's the bonus Mongo rules. Mongo rules. <laughs> you know what Mongo rules? That's Mongo? a database. Sorry, Mono rules. <laughs> I did talk to Mono today. He says he'll come back to trivia soon. He's doing, he's fine. He just didn't want to do trivia for a while. What are Mono rules? Mono rules. They're boggle They're rules. the best thing ever. Just mono. ask James. I, I'm not doing Mono rules tonight. Okay, good. Who's James? James, not here. Yeah. Your answer pool is really large. I love, I love when the bonus wow. has a lot of uh, possibilities for an answer. Then we use mono rules. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. And it's it's a blast. It's kind of like a yeah. And when when it has very few possibilities, we use Mongo rules. <laughs> 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 if you don't like the outcome, you yeah. So, you guys are so much fun. Yeah. So. All right, so we've got uh, five teams that are all trying to be the best of the best. We have Ben Slaves of Gryffindor versus We're Not a Red Herring versus Here Come to Judge, Here Come to Judge versus Cooper's, Cooper's Crew versus Russian Hackers Come from Siberia. <laughs> so who will be the winner tonight? Tonight on Season 2, Episode 44, Game 101 on the Year of our Lord, April 7th, 20 of 22. Where's 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 Leonard? Is it the sixth? That was six. the sixth. This is his, he's got his other thing today. Is this the sixth? No, it's the seventh. Seventh. Oh, it is? Oh. I don't know these Maybe things. he's doing Bay Area? That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're so retired. <laughs> He said he wouldn't be here because last week you asked for categories. Oh, that's said, right. Yeah. He did say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right, Karen. Thank you, Karen, for keeping track. Our secretary here who's taking note of all these things. <laughs> today, I did the most supreme, amazing thing today. I sat in my car and I put the time on, correct on my car. And I didn't have to look up a YouTube video. Robin says, oh, Robin needs the 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 thingy majigger. So let's send that to her really quick before we start with the categories. And Robin. So what game is this, Susan? This is 101. 101. You missed it. And I'm putting Robin on the, she's on the fourth one, I think, right? Yes. Did anyone do think to do a category on 101 Dalmatians? Did, did, did anyone else have a deja vu? Is something deja vu all over again? Maybe someone did. Is this a loop or something? I'm not following this mm. thing on here. Did anybody do a category on Dalmatian? <laughs> Otter dogs? Something, something. Did anybody do a category on deja vu? Oh my Whoa. god. Be uh, <laughs> where's Mongo been? <laughs> <laughs> Mongo only pawn in Game of Life. I was trying to think of a Mongo. Yeah. Oh, Mongo. No, Mongo, you'll only make Mongo. it. Javi, let's, let's argue about the red herring fallacy again. Oh, right. Yes, the red. I, I, <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm going to die on that hill. The red herring <laughs> yeah. is not a logical fallacy. All right. So there was let's a put it this way Are all the other logical fallacies actually logical fallacies, and therefore red herring is the only one that's not? Oh, I'd have to go look through the rest of those. I think I think you'll that's your assignment. Quite that's your assignment, Avi. <laughs> and you can go um, to the Wikipedia page and strike all the ones out that you don't think are. See how well you do. <laughs> Let's yeah. see what happens to him. Okay. Um, now the now the skeptics guide to the universe crowd has been talking about logical fallacies every so often, and they and they mention that they're they're mostly talking about the in, sort of informal things right yeah that's but, what but, that is oh uh, red hearing it doesn't have anything to do with logic all it has to do with it's literally Hobby doesn't even want to technique. give it the credibility of cause of calling it an informal logical fallacy <laughs> no. Hi, robin it's it's kind of the pluto Ready? of logical fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're driving me nuts so um you're on cooper's crew and okay. we're about to start. Peggy's about to start. So here we go. Peggy, okay. my dear. Oh, Kyle is running the kick her out button thing. I got He's running the mutation. Running the marathon. Why? 
Why is she getting tased? Tonight, you guys, I'm trying visual clues, and I don't know if it's going to work. So I'm going to put uh -oh. them in the chat. You have to open it and let me know if it works. If it doesn't work, I do have a backup plan. Um, so it is a PowerPoint, but only to give you the visual clues. So I don't want to slow the game down. I think it will speed the game down up because I'm not actually going to read anything. So can you open that? Open. Oh, Chat. OneDrive dot live. Okay. Click on it. No, the item it. might not exist or is no longer available. Uh, no. I got to oh. sign in. I got to sign in. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, Am I opening it's the personal vault? It, it worked I don't earlier have a, when I did account. it, so that's not going to work. So I got to come back no. and do my alternate plan. Sorry, Ooh. folks, because that All was right. a really good one too. I used Darn. to pull blocks. Um, yeah, but I, you, pull you'll box. need to use them in the room. So I don't think I can just get, show them to you because the room. You need. I think you need to see them unless you want to do the visuals and think you can remember them. Well, we all have smartphones, so we could take screen, you know, pictures of the. But what about the document? You can, you can upload phones. that document into the chat. Uh, tell me what to do about that. Uh, well, in the chat, if you click on the little thing that looks like a piece of paper, you can click where you want to upload it from, like your computer, and navigate and just upload the file to the chat. Where it says, yeah. if I can one of the choices on is Microsoft OneDrive. Next to a little smiley face. Oh, tape. it's going to make me connect and do all kinds of shit that I don't have time for. That's what you were making us do. Yeah, how were you not connected? I don't understand. Oh, so we can jump through hoops. What? Well, I copied it earlier. I copied it earlier. I had a fake Zoom meeting. I opened it and it worked. But I was opening it. So, you know. There you go. You have an account. Okay. So what are we doing now? Oh, we're going to do something different. So the other thing that I could do is I could show it to you and you can just do it on memory. Do you want to do that? No. no. <laughs> memory? Is it just a memory? What? But, 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 but we can oh, take photos be of the screen with our phone. We'll take photos of it. All we right. could do that. We could take we photos could of that. it. I don't want to. We, could, we could skip you and go to the next cat person and you could figure it out. I, I probably won't, sweetie. Okay, I probably won't. <laughs> Okay, so well, can take, Romero screen. can take screenshots and make an image or album again. Let, let Romero do that. Oh, I That's love perfect. that. I love Romero's that. Romero's good at that kind of stuff. Okay, let me find it first. We also had an idea about making a program where groups could like input their answers for mono oh, That would be super cool. Oh. Oh. We wouldn't be able to argue anymore. The automatic mono <laughs> score. <laughs> <program. Ooh. laughs> Patent pending. Cool. Patent okay. pending. The mono yeah, meter is what we about call it. But the problem right. with that, though, is you have to make if you worry, worry about typos. Famous paintings. Oh, I right. back end will have to be MongoDB. Mono this hasn't is a, been around for a while. Where is Mono? This I, is a pretty easy uh, category. I just talked to him today. So he says he'll come back soon. He's doing okay. Take pictures okay. of the screen, and they'll go in order, and you'll be fine. Um, or, or oh, is somebody going to mute us? Just make um, sure you go slow enough that we can get the snaps. Romero's going to uh, make a screen we'll thing for us. Romero, okay. I love you, man. Love All right, man. number one is this picture. Uh, you just name the artist. That's all I need. There's no tricky questions. There's no, yeah, but he didn't paint it. Somebody else in his little studio did. There's nothing like that. Oh, these, this, I, I made this one. <laughs> this is Avi uh, painting. Very good. Avi Steiner. Wow, I like your use of the shadows see, and the I contrast. See the right spot on his head. All right, we're going to mute all. Get yeah, ready, Peggy. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Oh. Peggy, you're muted. Peggy, you're muted. And now we're on number 10. What happened? I'm confused. Okay. You're going yeah. way too fast. What happened to two? <laughs> I'm going back from the beginning. Can you hear me? Yeah. You gotcha. Whew. All right. That's two. Let me know when it's okay, when everybody thinks I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Here's three. Okay. Here's four. What the hell is that animal? Okay. I believe it's an uh, ermine. Chupacabra. It's a chupacabra. <laughs> chupacabra. 
<laughs> That's a weasel or a ferret. Here's five. Yeah, that was four. Okay, five. Here's six. It. Does that girl in the middle have a N95 mask on? <laughs> She's drinking tea. tea. Oh, my screen. She's, She's having a cup of <laughs> proper teacup. That this one got rough. this one got two paintings. She might be the most obscure, but perhaps not, depending on what you know about Renaissance art. Also, I love seeing a picture of somebody getting their head cut off. Just, oh, ooh, is that what's going on? I thought they were like, oh, never mind. No, were, that's not sex. <laughs> no, it was, they were, it was dental surgery. Oof. Number eight. Number nine, number nine. Boobies. Oh, Boobies. And finally, number 10. There's no bonus. All right. This should be there it is. fast and easy. Good job, Peggy. I love your I'm program. sorry I couldn't let you all have it, but somebody... Number nine, was that Yoko? <laughs> no, she never looked had boobies like that. I don't think she was ever that big number nine number nine. Oh, i think i actually know yeah. a few of those though i couldn't i know i think it's pretty yeah, I know. easy with a couple Mara, of you got something for us was it fast enough for you hi caspian okay all right i'm waiting for i'm waiting for uh, romero to get us uh, um if he has it do we, we need it? it do we need it hold on Well, I guess we're going to our rooms. Okay, who do I need to put in rooms? Let's see. I'll bounce around and see if anybody. Caspian goes. Karen is. Which one are you, Karen? I don't know. Oh, I thought I had you in a room. Let me see. Where did I put you? One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's put you there since I thought I had you in a room. I think you came Thank you. Time is somebody else and I missed that. Okay, you're in Thank one. You. You're welcome. Robin, you are in four. Cooper's here. Okay, now I'm going to one. There. A blank screen. There we go. Yeah, I can see that. All right. So there's 10 going backwards because that was where we ended. Yep. Oh, hey, Karen. Did we get you too? Hey, Karen. You get Karen. Awesome. I'm going to show it again in every room and see how they do. Okay. There's nine. There's oh. eight. I don't know any of these, so anyone who knows, feel free to. What's in that basket? Speak up. The hydrangeas. Cotton candy. Uh, yeah. That, you can go after Peggy. That's seven. I would want to paint a picture of somebody getting their Oops, hands that's six. That's six. That's five. Number four. Now, now it as was asked before, what the fuck is that animal? I believe it, it's an ermine. An ermine. It has no fur. A, a stilt like critter. And what's That's the woman holding? <laughs> There's look number three. Skinned. It does look not very fuzzy, huh? That's There's number two. And there's number one. Thank you, Peggy. All right, now I'm going to go find another room. Okay. <laughs> Try that again. The number, so what do we guys know? Um, number one is a famous, um, I, I know the history of the picture it has in the very upper hand, right in corner, they painted something over a Cupid that was up there because it was naked, so they covered it up. And this is the guy who did the pearl with the gold, gold earring, I think, right? Who was that? uh karen i know it. six i know six of them okay do you know one all right let's hear it no um 
the the girl who had the gold earring, the the girl who had the pearl earring, that woman, that guy, is that Rena, R Rembrandt? Uh, can so. you give us more of the picture? <laughs> uh, okay, so I think that first one might be Rembrandt. I'm, okay, Do, two. You know, I have no idea. Is that it? I okay. I don't know that one. Yeah, We're seeing yeah. Who's more of a modern? What was that, Jane? Vermeer for one. Oh, is that Vermeer? Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. you. Oh, I, oh, I'm just. It's a wild guess. How do you I spell said that? Rembrandt, but I'm not really sure. I just know I okay. remember them talking about the history of the painting that had a it had something else in the upper right hand corner a cupid, and so they painted it out and they put something over the top of it so it wouldn't have a naked thing there. And hey. I thought it was the guy who did the pearl earring. What is it, Peggy? Ramiro ended up posting it in the chat, but it was apparently after people left rooms to their room, so it should be in the chat. Okay. Okay. Someone needs to repaste it because I. I don't have access to that. And the problem is, I don't think it goes to all the rooms unless it comes from maybe the hostess. Okay, I've got it. Cool. Okay. So you can you broadcast that to everybody just in yeah, case? Yeah, I'll just go. Uh, can you take it out and paste it in the rooms and go in them, Peggy? Uh, you know how I am. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that works. That works. Yeah. Did you guys you open it. it? Did it work okay? Yep. So yep. I have an idea. What about if we go through and name the ones that we know, then we'll know how many we have to guess at. Okay. So three. Botticelli. Very good. Four. I'm not seeing. Is it in the chat? I'm not yeah, seeing. Yeah, in the chat. Yes, yes. Five is Degas. Is that? I thought it was Monet. Okay. Well, so no, then. No, no, no. If you know. Well, he did, Degas is the one that did all the ballet dancers, right? Well, I was thinking that was the... Okay, we'll put that as a, as a question mark then. Okay, six is the guy who did, I think... The, does think anybody the know the name of the picture, number okay. six? Let's, let's keep going through the ones we know. Then we'll know how many, to, to how much time we have. Seven Rembrandt? No idea. Um, eight, you guys know that's um, Diego Rivera. Yeah, Rivera. Nine, Gauguin. Ten is Picasso. Yes. Okay, so All that's right. uh, we can post stuff in the chat that just goes to us, right? Well, six or five or six or either. Need help, Peggy? Yeah. Renoir, Renoir. It looks like everybody got it. They okay. did. I'm pretty sure five is Degas, but Susan believes that it's Monet. I thought Monet did that watercolor thing, and he was really into blue. But I'm not 100 percent sure. So if you, I'm, I'd rather go with Karen says because okay. Degas did. I've seen a zillion times Karen get talked out of stuff, and she was right. So I'd well, because I'm more stuff. interested in everybody having fun and being a good team player. So she hey, actually Peggy, knows the hey Peggy, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, if there's a name to these pictures, I'd like to uh, like to hear them. <laughs> um, I, well, I, I just want yeah. to. Spell oh no, them not not no not now. But oh, okay. when you give it away, okay. you give them away. I give the names. I think I have it. I'll go look. Peggy, in the first one, <laughs> Susan, in the very first picture up in the right hand yeah. corner. Hi there, Jordan. Is number two an early Georgia O'Keeffe? Yes. Well, right. okay. it, ha it has to be Georgia O'Keefe. One, two. Well, it doesn't look very vagina like or very vulva like, oh, but, it does, but it looks like her painting. It looks like her style of painting. Yes. And number one, Peggy, in the upper right hand corner, I think I read they recently figured out that underneath that area up in the right corner is a cupid that they painted out because it was can we put these in the chat that since sounds, these names well, are so crazy me. so i know how to spell them when i put these in the notes <clears throat> okay did we get um six uh, that, that's the one i want to know the uh, is name that of the <laughs> I can't it's like oh name. my goodness renoir, <laughs> renoir. Six. Hello. I don't know. I have no idea. If you think so, 
it, I, it's like isn't it the one where the it's the background the one that well no it's not the one Peggy has right now did you guys see the movie um the french movie that was subtitled about a woman in paris who anyway there was a character in this movie and every year the guy painted that painting over he copied it and it was called um God, I felt stupid because I can't even think of the name of the movie. It's a woman's first name. God, it was a good movie. <laughs> I can't think what it's called. Yeah, that's the same problem I'm having with these artists. <laughs> I, it's really bothering that I can't remember. I've seen the paintings, but Mark? The, name, the names it looks Take a look me. at this painting. Tell me who, who it is. Mark has an art degree. Okay. He should. Yeah. Okay. Who's the artist? Oh, that's Van Grimm. To number something. one. Which one? That's number one. Van who? Well, no, I, I Van. It's a Dutch guy. Van Gogh. Vermeer. No. Vermeer. 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 Yeah, Vermeer. Might be Vermeer. Vermeer. Yay, Mark. I'm not sure. No, that no, looks... it's true he, because Susan said it's the same guy that did Girl with the Pearl Earring. Vermeer. Right. Right. So this one? I, like, number uh, one for number, number one. one. I, I said that a long time ago. No, he's not, he doesn't know what we said. So let's see what he says. Two okay, number, number two is uh, that might be uh, Frank Stella, Larry Bell, uh, David Hockney. Maybe? She, they were saying uh, uh, O'Keefe. What's her name? We were George. guessing Georgia O'Keefe. Oh, that, that sounds right. Okay, three. Oh, that's Michelangelo or somebody. She's looking at three. I should know. <laughs> Karen, Karen says it's who? Botticelli. Yeah, that's right. Please that's spell right. that. Here's this lady with a weasel. I, I can't. B-O-T-T. -T. Number five is Monet. Oh, wonderful. That's what I said. So Wait, number five. Wait, you know wait, that's, wait. it's or, not Degas? I was going to say either Degas or Monet. I think it's Degas because it's Degas. dancing ballerinas. Okay, go with Karen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you go to art school, Kara? That's Hell no. A really good memory. Six? I don't know that one. Six, Renoir, 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 Renoir. Renoir. I don't know those. We'll spell all these, Ben. This is Rivera. Yes, please, because I have no clue. Okay, and that is uh, Lautrec. Nine? Yeah, I think so. It's not Gauguin? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you may be right, Karen. I'll oh, man. To you. And that's Picasso for sure. Right. We you. have the ability to decline going back to rooms. Why well, we're done. Who is that? Well, okay. someone needs to type them all out in the chat because or... we, we have no answers for some of these. Yeah. Did somebody write these down? We have right. gaps. Yeah, we do. I have Vermeer for one, George O'Keefe for two, Batticelli for three, Degas for five, Renoir for six, and Picasso for 10, and I missed the rest. Yeah, eight is Diego Rivera, nine is Gauguin, and we're missing four and seven. Should we just put in, put in like a... Leonardo, because we don't have Michelangelo anymore. We got okay. five seconds. Which one, Michelangelo? Michelangelo put him on both. Yeah. Put and Michelangelo in something. Put him on. Oh, Peggy. that was very sad, Peggy, because I should have known these. <laughs> the paintings look familiar, but <laughs> coming out, you know. Yeah. In some cases. It, it's coming from out of left field for you, so you weren't prepared with your. I know art. the photos answered. They're all famous paintings. Yeah. yeah. Almost all of them. We figured it out. The common theme. I did. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go through it so that I can tell you what the answers are because I don't remember who's in what place. From the beginning. Well, okay. So this is Ramir. I heard some people yes. do that. Oh, yeah. no. Girl with a pearl earring. And this is called something else. And I'll look up the titles. I'm sorry. I, I had them. I thought on here. Yay, Susan. Um, Vermeer is V E R M E E R. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. no. Georgia O'Keeffe. 
Yeah. Yes. She the yeah. vaginal art. That's pre-vaginal. <laughs> what? I am so ugly. Sorry. That's when she Flower. was in the belly button. I was, was, I was telling yeah. my team, are we sure I'm not seeing a vulva in there? No, nope, she was yeah. into belly buttons at that first, and then she oh, worked that way down. Is, it's, a trick, right. it's a trick question. It it's flowers mm. that don't look like vaginas. You are <laughs> sure. Number three is Botticelli. Oh. I saw it. Mm. Oh. B O T I C E L L I. There might be two T's. Ooh. I wouldn't have gotten it. Oh, yeah. There's two T's and we're looking at them. There is two T's, yeah. <laughs> I knew oh, that because well, of one of them covered. Bot Botticelli tripped This is Leonardo da Vinci. Somebody Yay. ever got that. Yay. 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 Yep. Very nice. Very. Woman with large rat. He doesn't have many famous paintings, and that one even stumped some friends of mine who were arty. This is Degas, famous Yay. painter and ballerina. Nice. Ooh. Good job, Karen. We went with Karen. Even though he I thought was, it was Monet. He was pretty strung out <laughs> on the ballerina thing. Well, this is Mary Cassatt, who was an yeah. American painter who painted oh. in Paris. Oh. Yeah. Somebody uh, and these what's things. the name I of this? I have no picture? idea how to pronounce these last names. This is some, has something to do with taking tea, and I can't remember, but tea time, maybe? I'll find the lady it. Tea, <laughs> the lady tea. Oh, those women <laughs> look like they're... Uh, they're, uh, uh, they're gossiping. Uh, they're sipping the tea. This is Artemisia Gentileschi. Okay, we didn't get what it is. <laughs> Artemisia. Okay, and, and there, it's called what? Sore throat. I remember and, uh... there was a famous <laughs> female artist of... who did this, like the Salome and the the. Yeah, but the she didn't do the style than the man, male artist that normally do it. But I couldn't remember her name. There's is a movie that came out about her 15 to 20 years ago that was pretty well known. And she got raped when she was like 19 or 18. And this is like her revenge painting. And she had other revenge paintings as well. Mm. This is Diego Rivera. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Yay. I mean, what's he carrying? Cotton candy. <laughs> Gauguin. Yeah. In Tahiti. And that is Picasso Guernica. I got that one right. <laughs> what was number nine again? What was number nine? Oh, number nine is um, Gauguin, Paul Gauguin, Gauguin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so somebody needs to write these out in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I have can no we... clue. I can spell Rivera, and that is like it. These, these names are horrendous, and we need it's like Diego spelling. Rivera. You should be able to spell that. That's the only one I can spell. Can you spell Picasso? Picasso is freaking easy. Okay, Picasso, I got two. I will I will look them up and put a chat something in the chat by the time the game is over. Will that right. do it? That's fine. I, I, I yay, yay. Good job. Quick. Bam, bam. Quick and visual, just to change your brain. It was a, a great, bit. It was a great category, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> and not just because I'm an art major in college. That's what I thought there would be some people who would really <laughs> like it. Yeah, it was good. I learned something. <laughs> I've seen well, some of those Kevin. in person. <laughs> okay, Ben Slice of Gryffindor. Score. What did we get? I think we got six. <clears throat> we got seven. Yeah, I thought it was more than we got nine. We got nine. We yeah. missed we missed four, six, and seven. Oh, okay. 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 So we're not a red herring. Okay. Seven. Wait. No, oh, oh. that was for the previous one. <laughs> so uh, we got five. Hey, here comes a judge. Thanks to Paula. Nine. Oh, oh boy. Paula. <laughs> wow. I knew that art was going to come in handy someday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd want an art major in this game, but you do. <laughs> Cooper's crew. Eight. Eight, maybe. Russian hackers come from Siberia. Seven. The category well done, is seven point two. That's good. That is good. Excellent. That's nice Excellent. overall. You know. Yeah. Well, well calibrated. Okay. So next up, we have Robert, our prisoner. Here we are. Okay, Robert. 
Okay, sorry. So team, we're starting. Sorry. This in, we're starting sorry. this. In, we're starting this in last place, and this is not going to make it better. Is my guess from my team makeup. So um, this is part two of what I have previously done once before. Oh. What TV series are we from? Oh yay! <laughs> <coughs> okay, and um, the gist is, I am going to name the. T I want you to name the TV series, all of which ran in the U.S., containing the listed characters. Okay, every I mean every decade following the 1940s, meaning starting with the 50s, is represented, and the shows appear here in chronological order. You want you want the name of the show? Why did and that the happen? Names of the characters. I just pasted something else. He's going to give us the name of the characters, and he's going to. I'm going to give you the name of the characters. Correct. And oh, you okay. Tell okay. me which show it's from. Okay, and the last time we did this, we had a spread from five to ten. Interestingly. And I am not reusing any of the uh, previous ones. So, I'd make it too easy. Uh, not necessarily. Okay, number one. <laughs> Jeff Miller, Timmy Martin, Garth Holden, Corey Stewart. Number two. See, now you know how I felt when I saw those paintings. <laughs> number two. <laughs> Ludwig von Siegfried, Jaime, Carlson, Dr. Steele, and Larrabee. <laughs> Uh, I, I, are people not muted? Who's muting people? I think it's Kyle. Oh. Kyle, you okay. only have one job. Uh, yeah, one yeah, let me get on it. Rob, you said they they were started at what year? 1940. No, 1940. I, I said, no, 1950s, 1950s forward every decade is. Uh, so is, the first one is from 1950s. And the second one's from 1960. That's not necessarily so because no, there's two repeats. <laughs> yes, they have to be repeats. Okay. All right. Muting. All right. I'll get ready, Rob. Go ahead. Okay. Number three is Helena Russell, John Koenig, Alan Carter, Victor Bergman, and Tony Vodrici. I don't know if I said that last name right. Number four, Dorothy Zbornik, Rose Nyland, Blanche DeVoe, and Sophie Petrillo. Sophia Petrillo. Number five, Earl Sinclair, Francis Sinclair, Robbie Sinclair, Howard Hinupney, and Roy Hess. Number six is Lane Kim, Paris Geller, Michael, spelled oddly, Michael, Gerard, Logan Hunsenberger, and Dean Forrester. Number seven, Joseph Adama, Shannon Adama, Daniel Greystone, Zoe Greystone, Zoe A. Barnabas Greeley, Ben Stark, and Mother. Number eight is Grant McLaren, Carly Shannon, Trevor Holden, Philip Pearson, David Mailer, Grace Day, Marcy Wharton, and Vincent Ingram. Trivia about the trivia, Marcy is played by Mackenzie Porter, a Canadian country western singer and songwriter. Number nine, Jason Mendoza, Chidi Edagonye, Dahani Aljamir, Sean, Vicky, Janet, Michael. Also, Lisa Kudrow had a cameo as Hypatia of Alexandria. Question 10, Dr. Harry Vanderspiegel, Asta 12 Trees, Mike Thompson, Darcy Bloom, Ben Hawthorne, and Judah Pren. And I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm, I have never seen an episode of one of these 10 shows, and I do not even recognize any of the characters or actors. Name that one. And that's it. Any questions? Nope. I got it. I even know the bonus. Oof.
<laughs> you psychic. Okay. Okay. Definitely watches too much. No, you will, Rob. Okay, Kyle. They're open. Susan, I did it again. I'm in the wrong room. Okay, don't go. Sorry. Kyle, for some reason, you're not in a room. Kyle, you're supposed to be in Cooper's crew, right? I can get in there, yeah. Okay, and so... I just need to go to one. Peggy goes to one. All right, good job. I'm going to two. Okay. Okay. I think the team needs you, Susan. Good luck. I'm going okay, another bye. room. So I know that number four is Golden Girls. Well, that's the only yes. one I had any idea about. <laughs> and uh, I know number nine is a good place. Mm -hmm. I think the bonus is going to be Golden Girls. Really? You don't think Rob's um, ever seen any Golden Girls? Yeah. Um, number seven, I think that is um, Battlestar Galactica. Was that a TV series? Yep. Seven is Battlestar Galactica. Series. It's the original Battlestar Galactica, though, because... Uh, it would have to be. Yeah. Because uh, oh. the Adamas are not named that anymore. Um, so, but because the Galactic Universe is everything comes around, it doesn't surprise me that they that the names are all redone. Number one, I'm thinking it's um, Superman. Mm. That might Jimmy be Martin one. sounds like. Could be. He worked in like Planet, the Planet. Um, wasn't. The, the Daily Planet. Yeah, isn't that a really, isn't he saying this is a really old series? The first one? <laughs> Yeah, it has to be 1950. The first one has, they're in chronological order. So the first one's guaranteed to be 1950 and the last one's guaranteed to be 2020, but other, or 2020s, but otherwise we don't know. So I'm thinking. Superman does seem Superman. like that, that, that is the right era. And yep. Timmy Martin, doesn't that sound? Yeah, could be. That wasn't the little helper guy's name. I don't remember what it was, but. I never saw the show, but. I used to Dr. read the comic Steel. book. I didn't. Re I watched the show too, but it didn't really stick. Larry. I just remember that when he was flying, it made a really weird noise. Larrabee sounds really familiar. Is it a western of some kind? Let's see. Gunsmoke. Could be. I don't know. I Jaime. I never watched Gunsmoke, but like Jaime Larrabee is a, is a Jaime is a Jewish name, I think. Probably. Which which yeah. one are you guys looking at? Number two. Number? Number two. Just number, number two. two. Oh, okay. Which means it's in the 1950s or 60s. Mm -hmm. Carlson, Dr. Steele, Larrabee. I wonder if it's a soap opera. I mean, it could be. But like Larrabee does sound like the kind, like, for some reason, Larrabee sticks out in my head as being from Westerns, but I don't remember. Well, that sound Western. Yeah. Yeah, and right. Well, it could be gun smoke, or I mean, that's or we can, train We'll or just put in a. We'll just put it in as a pencil, and we can come back. Yeah, I'll put two question marks in front of it because we really. I, I I don't think we're very sure about that at we're all. Just, we're just Superman guessing genres. genres. <laughs> yeah, three. Victor Bergman. Is this not Wonder Woman? Was that a TV show? Yeah. Wonder Woman? That old? Oh, yeah. Was I it that old? 70s? Yeah. yeah. Well, there, the woman's name was Car so. last name was Carter, but it, there was no Alan Carter, was there? Maybe. I thought there was. Her husband? We, let's her, put, it, her let's brother, put it in or... right now. Wonder Woman is two words, I think. I don't think we'll be graded on that. Yeah, but I have to break you. It's so so important. The Sinclairs. Who could be the Sinclairs? Was that like one of those Leave It to Beaver shows? Like, uh, <clears throat> no, that we're we're on number five. That'd probably be like nineteen nineties, right? Nineteen eighties. Uh, well, I mean, it could be anywhere. Oh, from the... this is this is one of the ones that was the the. I think it's like, um, one of the early uh um black only class I clap. 
Oh, this was the Fresh Prince of St. Clair. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is. All right. Because they were the Sinclairs. Yeah. I've oh, never right, seen the yeah. show, but I do know that there's the Sinclairs. Yeah. I don't remember if that's how you spell Bel Air. Bel Air is two words. Very good. Came out of there. Um, I have no I, idea. Yeah. Okay. Kim, Harris, Geller, Michael Gerard. Logan Huxberger. I mean, if that's Fresh else? Prince, then this must be Mark? the this must be the nineties. This must be either the nineties or the two thousands, because Battlestar Galactica was two thousands. Mm -hmm. Right, so it has to fit in between there. Right? So it has to fit in between. If, and Fresh I Prince. wonder if number six. Yeah, so this must be the nineties. Power 90s, Rangers. Like eight. Power Rangers? Oh. I think there was somebody named Logan. Could be the Power Rangers. That's about Wait. the right era, right? Yeah. Do we know their names? Do they? Yeah, oh, yeah. A lot of them. Try Power Rangers. That sounds like something Rob would. How many Power Rangers? Well, I thought there were six of them. Was it only five? Well, I mean, the reason I was thinking Power Rangers is there was definitely. Um, an Asian one. Yeah. Um, and then I was thinking there was one named Logan. Uh-huh. But this that is so long ago. Yeah, no, but like, no, no, I don't think so. Cause Why? like just thinking, no, thinking back on it, like the main when I think back on the names, like I was a huge Power Rangers nerd. None of these names sound right. And it doesn't it doesn't have Jason in it. Who's the well, main? I'm, who's the red ranger? These would have been these would have been side characters. Most I likely. know, but like still, like there weren't that many side characters. It was okay. like it was the five. It was Alpha and it was Zordon and everyone else didn't matter. Okay. And and the and the enemies and the villains and that was it. And no one else mattered. Okay. Because that's the way those shows work. So like, and the fact that like, no, because uh. Yeah, it's it's missing. It's at least missing two of the six Rangers from the original series, so it can't be. Okay. Because it's missing Jason and Kimberly, and I would expect one of them to have appeared. Yeah. I'm trying to think of. There is a series though from this era that had somebody named Paris. I'm trying to remember who it was. Well, I remember, no, a, Paris is a, no, this is a case where Paris was a male name. Because this is totally like, this is hitting a very specific spot in my brain and I'm trying to remember who it is. <laughs> Come back to that. Do we have any ideas for eight or 10? Um... Really big. Uh, oh wait, he has like a thing. Marshall's played by Mackenzie Porter, Canadian country. That'd be Washington. really modern. Something the ten would be something current ish. Was eight maybe like Degrassi or something? I know nothing about it other than that. I don't, that is. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so Rob has seen all of these except for one. So what has he been seeing lately in the last, you know, two years we've known him here? That he's talked about a TV series that he loved, that was in recent, that he would include for number ten. It doesn't necessarily mean that one he loved. It could also have been one he watched some of it with his wife. Okay, so what do you think it could be? Is he named something? That ben Hawthorne. Ben Hawthorne sounds familiar for some reason. Ben Hawthorne. I'm for number eight. Can we put down Degrassi just for right now? I don't think it's right, but is that a show? Yeah. It is a show that was definitely on recently. Um, In the 2000s or 2010s? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, at least it was on while I was in middle school. So, which was... I don't know that show, but... Sure. I, 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 it's a drama, I think. Ask that, a ask drama. that 12 tree. Somebody Excuse should know that. Grish, gay. Or it could be eight, could be like the OC or something. I'm just seems like, so I don't know. 
the reason I was thinking of Degrassi is that because it really sounds like a country western type thing. And if you have somebody that's played by a country western, um, are and could any of sure. these be some some of the medical dramas like great like um, House or um, oh, there's a couple of other hmm. ones. Has that's an interesting House? idea. I don't know whether Rob's into that or whether it matters if he's into that. I well, mean, no, you, um, hmm. no, uh, Dr. Harry Vanderspiegel oh. sounds very familiar. No idea. I'm done. There's nobody. Yeah, else around Harry me Vanderspiegel. These are all shows I've never seen before. Look at look at Janine's being super quiet. I wonder why. What do I have to say? <laughs> I didn't know whether I I didn't catch whether we were giving being given characters or actors, characters. but you know Seven has mother. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that was Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, it's either that or the Pences. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We had Mother Heart in our family, so it so, wasn't an odd thing to me. You guys agree with me that Rob's never seen Golden Girls? It's as good as anything. I have no idea. Yeah, we should put that down. The good place, because the good place. See, he's used good place for all kinds of references because he's seen it. So that's why I'm saying is that number Let's ten put, is probably uh, something he's mentioned and seen over and over. Oh, yeah, eleven. You mean the the bonus? Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying okay. So we something need something for six or ten. Mm -hmm. So we think bonus There's, is Golden Girls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have no like idea. really, it 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 is. Oh God! Oh God! No, I have it. Um, it is, it is. Gilmore Girls. Which, which one? Which which one is? Six. Six is Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Lane Kim is her is one of her friends. I remember. Yeah. It and Dean was her boyfriend, like Rory's boyfriend. Has he mentioned he's watched it? I don't know. He may not have ever watched it. It. I, I mean, really honestly, it's that. it's a it's a show with good banter in it, but it is also you know, it's also the thing that some people avoid, like the plague. So, no, but it's definitely Gilmore Girls. Okay, good. Now hundred percent. Yeah. Is um. um... Vanderspiegel. Is oh this you know what this this is? Oh, what? what the fuck? It's the um the the that new cartoon that that um uh he he was really into the um oh the uh the one that's um about the the secret government organization. Um, oh, it had like a one word name maybe. Yeah. Um, it started with an I, I think. Really? Yeah, this is definitely this. Um, so you're talking about 10? Yeah. Um, I, oh, fuck. Uh, Susan, you saw an episode of this and you didn't like it. Um, oh, was it that? <laughs> oh, it was if or the or thing or it was a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh mr big no it was big? it was Has about it was in the last few months that's right so um, he's he's seen a bunch of it and it's all sorts of pseudoscience in it yeah, yeah but, what's it yeah. called um job something with a job no it's like in it's I think it's in job in job inside job inside, inside job okay mark all right cool well that we one we know he's seen so I, I mean i think it's a toss-up between whether or not he's seen golden girls or gilmore girls yeah to I think be honest i think he's i'm, I'm sticking with golden girls but i'm okay. the visitor here okay. so don't trust me on this hey hey it's like i i don't know that i would necessarily say otherwise he also may have never actually seen an episode of 
uh of like wonder woman potentially or superman or gun smoke superman (laughs) yeah like i think we've talked about gun smoke before and i think he has said he's seen it but but like superman and wonder woman i have no idea um but the but thing I'm, about going yeah. with Golden Girls as opposed to Gilmore Girls is that Golden Girls have been has been around longer, so you're more likely to have bumped into it. Yeah, Gilmore Girls was a, was like either you were into it or you weren't, and if your friend group wasn't into it, you probably didn't see it. I never heard of it. Yeah, whereas oh my Golden God. Girls I've yeah, heard of. Sure. Yeah, I think. Gilmore Girls is a better guess. Okay, better bonus. Yeah, let's go with Gilmore Girls. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to uh, convince everybody without actually doing anything. Without saying a thing. Huh? Yep. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I've convinced myself. I'm no. I'm less confident that ten is inside job, but I think it is. It seems. I think it's inside there, job. There's only. Yeah, Asta. Yeah, Asta. T- you can have it. I, I recognize yeah. the name. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. You're inside job. Yeah, I'm like. 12 Trees is a very interesting name. And Harry Vanderspiegel. Like, yeah, that sounds like, right. Like, that's, that's that definitely sounds. Yeah, I mean, it's such right. a tongue in cheek. cheek yeah. it, it's either inside thing. job or it's something like something of, it's definitely of a modern, like, obviously modern it's number cartoon, 10, but I mean, cartoon. like, yeah, well, it's either a cartoon or it's meant for kids, like, uh, you know, like series of unfortunate events or something like that. You know, like like it's got fantastical naming on purpose. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. Me too. Okay, cool. So we had back. Right. Yeah. I had a I had a thing a couple of weeks ago. It doesn't look like it was COVID based on numerous tests, but it lasted about two and a half days, but I still have a lingering cough. Oh hi Susan. Yeah. I made it after all. Gail's here. Hi, Gail. We don't know what team we're going to put you on yet. We're just finishing two. Okay. They're just coming back now. I have to, I have to go do a l- little bit of cleanup, which Julie reminded me before she left, and I will be back in like two minutes. So yeah. I'll okay. keep the headset on though. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll hear when you get back. Okay. So I did a talk for Gail's group on Monday. That was fun. They had some you, great you questions. You were very, very well received. You did a great job. Thank you. The people were really nice. They they got it. I had the first first talk I gave on Monday was for uh, Craig Foster's group, and that was in um, a college classroom he's doing, and it was on psychics. It went way too fast. I think I was only on for 30 minutes, and I had mm-hmm. to give a presentation. And then I did Kale's group, which is a retired folk room, and... They were on Wikipedia and they were just great. Everybody was great. It was nice to see the two different two different wings. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat a whole thing of milk duds. God, that's a uh, very good Robin. Uh you got us thinking. <laughs> milk duds. Milk duds. I, my my milk prediction duds. is is going to be a huge spread on this. No, no. <laughs> I, I would concur with that prediction. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> and with my team yeah. being in the lower. Uh, yeah, we're in the too. lower and stay high to my better half. Hello, Hello, better half. Hello, better half. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Find your and, and what's your better half's you. name? Jane the Pain. Jane the Pain. Jane, the pain. Jane, the pain. Jane you should come and hang out Jane with the me pain. sometimes. Yeah. I don't say yeah, why not. I know it's late for you guys over there, though. You helped us with I Love Lucy category. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Thank oh. you. But we just have one right now that might have been a good one. Mm. <laughs> welcome welcome to hang out as Thank long you. as you can um <laughs> rob you ready i am ready hey, okay is that i can't see so here we go right. is that well i hear a chicken it's i a hear chicken, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Where is chicken late. it's max I hear a chicken. Okay, here there we go. Is the chicken. So, how do you guys think you did? I think Terrible. we did well. Not very good. Medium. 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 Some, I think some of your teams are going to be surprised at how, how well you did. But. Oh. 
Okay. Um, so, okay, I was in some rooms, oh, wild guess, but like they were right. So interesting. All right, so here we go. Number one is Lassie. Yay. Oh. Yay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 1954. Number two, from 1965, Get Smart. Get Smart. Yes. Oh. And I did not put Maxwell Smart, but it was like that would have been a little too Oh, odd. man. I remember Jaime. Yeah, very I did good. Too. That's what I remembered. Was I, re I remembered Siegfried. <laughs> yeah. And I, I thought yeah, I put Bernie a in there where it would jog yeah, memories. Bernie yeah, Bernie Yeah. All right, Girl. number three. Number three. I'm thinking something uh, got this and didn't know they got it. Space 1999. Yes. Yeah, I never even heard of that. Yeah. Me neither. Oh, come on, Moonbase Alpha. Oh man. Martin Lando. You never Martin Lando. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, Martin, Martin Lando. Lando this is where oh, we learned that beans. we learned that a nuclear explosion on the moon can kick it out of its orbit and just send yeah. it out of the solar. It's amazing. Uh, number number four is from 1985. Golden, Golden Rose. Yes, we got yep. that. Yay. I love that. So, I didn't see anybody who got this one. I actually have the DVD mix set of this one from 1991. If people nice. notice, one of the characters was Hand Up Me, and the other ones were oil company names. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got that we one. Got it. Yep. Yep. We put fresh I have on that on the DVD set. <laughs> not the now mama. I remember, yeah, these fresh are the three Prince. players. Not yeah. the mama, not the mama. Not the mama. Fresh Prince. Not the mama. Not Number six. Parody of French Prince. It's there's fun. always more that's why they call it more so now we're moving up to uh, 2000 number six nice. is gilmore girls yeah. 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 i think we got that yeah i know that one number good. seven ten years later is the show which was the uh prequel sequel to yes a more famous uh, series yeah, we got that oh, yeah. oh, hey, yeah. Larry and ben yeah Larry and ben <laughs> Oh, yeah, kind of I, out the spelling okay. the last I, I, I remembered Adama had something to do with Battlestar Galactica. So, yeah, the one name yeah. I didn't put was William Adama because he was as a child in this uh, in this series. Yeah, uh, but those were his parents, the other Adamas. Um, number eight, moving up to 2016. I just binge watched the series for the third time. I love it. <laughs> Travelers. Oh, ah, got it. Get that one. And uh, yeah, two of these. Uh, this one's a definite watch. If you like time travel, Susan would love it. Uh, <laughs> num number nine, I think most of you got this one The Good Place. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and Lisa Kudrow's appearance as Hypatia, because she was the same kind of a character she was in uh, Friends. She was just ditzy. <laughs> it was so good. Because basically, she was in heaven so long she lost her mind because there's nothing to learn. Uh, mm -hmm. Number 10 is the uh, current series that's still on and I'm watching the second season right now. Resident Alien. Resident Alien, very oh, good. Show. We, said, we said inside job. And the bonus, what did you people think is the one? Golden the Girls is what I thought, but Gilmore we put Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Yay! Yay. <laughs> good job, good job team. Although we didn't need it. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Dang. I didn't like you, Rob. Uh, that's really good. Don't. So I far, know. I have thought I for sure I knew an answer in the last two rounds, like and we round. defaulted to the person who somebody else because I'm usually wrong. Who was right, it? Who good was, job not going with my answer. Who was it who said who was said to like lots lots of time travel stories? I can't stand time travel. He was joking. <laughs> oh, okay. I am like the opposite of time travel. It's stupid. <laughs> it's what they do when they can't write. Good. No, you need to see 12 uh, Monkeys. Frequently up, asked travel about time very, very travel. well, and so was Dark. Yeah. So we'll Both categories of time travel. Uh, time okay, travel scores. Okay. About time travel. Uh, I like the Time Patrol stories by Paul Anderson. <laughs> hmm? um, did you paste the answers in chat? I Rob? will do that. Thank you. I missed the first couple of answers because i had to go finish the thing so okay so let's go with uh Rob's okay room. they're in chat now we're not a red here now gail's here so Donka. gotta mind you guys she's not yeah, on team yet four. i thought we did more than that didn't we uh, get we back got, a bonus so there should be five no all right we got the bonus but 
No, no I, four, I have four. Four, oh, okay. six, and, uh, and nine. Yeah, four, six. Yeah, I thought we did four, better. Four, six, nine, that. and five. Oh, sorry, team. Okay. It's okay. Ben Slaves. Susan, Susan didn't one. help, huh? Yeah. I did. A little bit. She did. Oh, uh, did you? Was that our team? Uh, we got nine. Oh, just uh, a yeah, <laughs> Good you job, team. <laughs> we were really struggling at first, Siberia. but we pulled, we, we pulled it group. together. We got four. <laughs> okay, Cooper's crew. Four, and I'm somewhat comforted that I have never watched any of the shows that I, I didn't get. So I didn't, <laughs> Me too. Here comes the judge. I didn't overlook something. Ten. Of course you guys got oh. them. Liars. <laughs> Not fair. Did, did, did uh, anybody get the bonus? Did people figure out? Oh, yeah, we got, yeah. We, we got it. We did. I got the bonus. We got that the was the easy question, Ron. Everybody got the bonus. I, I, I really thought it was not golden like girls. the others. Well, it could have been Golden Girls, too. No, no. There's a cat in here. Get out. I don't want you in here. Come on out. Out, out. Out, uh, cat. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so that was the end of round two. Let's take a photo. 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 We're ahead of schedule, aren't we? <laughs> I will go chase my cat. Wait, are out. you going to show us the the spreadsheet? I already did. I didn't see it. Did nobody see it? <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh, I saw it. Okay, yeah, I yeah. saw the spreadsheet. Right. No, it was there. I saw it. It was wonderful. Forget this is getting weird. You guys <laughs> don't was, know. It was equally was... terrible and wonderful. <laughs> You're scaring me. Depending now. on your viewpoint. Caspian, are you there? But always tab. Count down. Count down. Take a picture. Okay. I'm Everybody ready? ready? Smile. <laughs> Kevin's such a teenager. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating tangerines too, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet Kevin enjoys penis jokes and fart jokes. He definitely does. You're just trying to make him <laughs> fart jokes. I did too. Did you take he doesn't like fart jokes. Anyone who said they I don't love fart a jokes good is a fart liar. joke. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night, Abby. Bye, Abby. Thank you. There are, there are two kinds of people in this world those that like fart jokes and those that lie about lying fart jokes. Not like. <laughs> All right, guys, guys, guys. Five minutes. minutes of fart jokes. Good, Good night, night, everybody. Yeah, I got to go. Sure. So, Later, Vincent. Vincent. Feel better. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Carl, I had heard about people lighting them, you know, and I yeah. thought. That I thought that was a joke. I didn't think pe people really did. Really so number it. number six, uh, I was back at the holidays <clears throat> with family's uh, celebration. And he and his brother were talking, at, reminiscing about doing that when they were teenagers and that they hadn't done it since then. And I said, people really do that? And they couldn't believe that I'd never seen anyone do it <laughs> and that I thought it was fake. And then they proceeded to demonstrate Oh, oh I, I laughed so hard. I actually fell out of my chair and was crying and bent over. My stomach was hurting. I have never <laughs> laughed so hard in my life. What are they well, that's good to know, farts? Karen. That's one of those things you probably won't find a mic. Did they do wipe their farts? Yes. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. It was like a shooting I've out. I've heard like of a, it. I've never seen it. A blue, yeah, I've it was seen like a blue, it, sadly. It was like yeah. a blue. Uh, I mean, it's a methane flame. flame. Yeah. yeah. With it a was little hilarious. bit of hilarious. With a little bit of hydrogen sulfide mixed in. Yep, just a little bit. Gross. Uh, Probably makes it smell I've better. I've actually seen that. Uh, Not tangerine. It was a. It, it was a mic. Uh, I remember it being uh, mentioned as a little incident in a, a story where. Uh, recruits in a military camp uh, they managed to uh, burn down their barracks <laughs> yeah or, or, I've, or, I've heard of, i've heard of people like ending up uh with with uh, a, a very light burn and soreness due to it would you like to go into er with that one yeah that is that is a thing yeah there are many things which are embarrassing to go to the ER for. That feels like it's up there. Let's see. Let's see. The major character in that story uh, suggested uh, 
de to de depriving the enemy of, uh, of ammunition by removing red be be bean stew from the uh, cafeteria. <laughs> yes, anyway. Is that a fart joke? <laughs> I guess it was. Probably. <laughs> Yeah. And I don't know if it was a joke as much as an anecdote. Yeah. It was not a fallacy, though. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'll, okay, since we're running early, I guess I'll hang around for one more session of things before I, cool. uh, before I run off. Uh, yeah, we are running pretty, pretty good. Yeah, and I, mine's, I, think the, I, I don't know if I'm going third or fourth, but mine's going to be fairly fast, I think. You're going fourth. Fourth. I always, I've never gone any, any spot but fourth. <laughs> Every single time I've done it, I've gone fourth. Let's see. So, so what is, uh, you, if you think you've got a reasonable bunch of questions you volunteer for doing for for running them uh, yeah mm -hmm. so it's just, yeah. just you there, anticipate there are a few some up. yeah there are a few uh guidelines that that we that are generally followed that you know like no uh no multi-part answers right. like you know not you have to get like multiple things correct at a time. Can't say list all the stooges. Yeah, um, <laughs> as one question, right? Like, uh, and wow. you, you know, ten questions and at most one bonus. Yeah, as like as a stricture. Um, th th there's there's a few other ones. Um, general like good good uh, question hygiene includes like. Don't make your question more than two sentences and short ones at that. Um, and in general, like, you know, otherwise have fun with it. Yeah. Oh, and my don't make answers to, more than two sentences. Yeah. Ideally, my, my advice well. is to always do a good job checking your information. Try to check more yes. than just one source or one mm -hmm. list of trivia you found out on the internet because lists of trivia you find on the internet are notorious for having all sorts of wrong mm -hmm. information in them right. make sure you can find multiple corroborating like actual first sources yeah. don't like because because believe it or not there are people in this room who will call yeah. you on it yeah, yeah. I, I try i try to yeah. get facts as reasonably well supported more so at least as a, than like a wikipedia article would require well another thing you could do uh jim are you the one that asked that question yeah Another thing you can do is say according to, yeah, and then have Just a be single, clear about your source. Clear yeah, about the source. Although we did have that one time, and it's one of our um, ongoing jokes. Someone had a category which was according to uh, RogerEbert.com. Now Roger Ebert was dead, so they were not <laughs> recommendations, and we had no idea what the criteria was on this website. Yeah, and it was top ten movies. It was me. It was me. But we had no, no. idea. <laughs> if, I mean, if it was according to Roger Ebert, that would have been one thing. But it was RogerEbert.com, and he was dead, so we didn't know, and nobody knew <laughs> yeah. the answers. And my, like, my team like, won that round with one correct answer. <laughs> nobody, yeah, nobody yeah. Had like, heard of like we could have equally. You could have equally said, "You have ten guesses to name a word that exists in one of the names of the ten movies." <laughs> top 10 movies on rogerdebert.com and i doubt you exactly would have done any better oh my God, you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were all like when you'd you, be like when oh you read them nobody had heard no, of them and they were there, all really sorry. depressing i bet you guys would be all over it because it was you know we were in the pandemic and you thought you guys were all watching these movies and you were, no, all we were watching good movies. how many had you seen susan None. <laughs> i never heard of yeah. but i thought i was but that's not unusual for me though to not know anything sure. about the categories <laughs> I mean, these some of the ones Rob named I've never heard of before. No clue. They they were not popular movies. They these uh, were like were as far afield artistic film as you. Yeah, could there go. were there are artistic films, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. this this is films for the critic, yeah. not this for the, films only. Film yeah. critics see. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're so we're back. I'm back, so that means we're back. So let's see. Do we have announcements? Um, 
I my announcement is is that I'm going to be going on a tour of the United States. I haven't got the dates for everything, but I'm starting out in Washington, D.C. Adrienne Hill's going with me and Kelly Burke. Remember her from Trivia. She's going to be there a couple days. And I just got us tickets to go see a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be so exciting. And then my, um, my American cousin. No, <laughs> it's called Grace. And we're going to see uh, Robin Blumner is taking my, she lives in Washington, D.C., and she's taking uh, Adrian and I out to dinner on Thursday, which would be trivia night. So I'm not going to be here. And I have a dinner, award dinner on Wednesday. This is the last Wednesday of the month uh, for the Capillary Skeptics. And uh, a magic show is going to be there. And then I'm giving a lecture on Saturday. Then I'm heading over on Sunday, the last th 30th, I think, to North Carolina to Raleigh to go see Jeff and uh, Faith and Romero. So, and I'm taking Adrian with me. So let's hope there's something fun happening there. We're there for a few days. And then I, then Adrian and I fly over to CFI uh, Buffalo, New York. And I'm gonna give a talk there. We're there for several days. And then she's going to Calgary. And then I haven't booked my flight home. I'm planning on stopping other places. So I've, I've just sent out messages to random groups and said, would you like me to come and give a talk? And St. Louis, Missouri has said yes. Colorado said yes, Denver. And um, uh, Minnesota, I think is interested. And it's possible Michigan, possible Indiana. I think that's it, right? Let me think. And then I'm headed home. New Mexico says they aren't doing their talks yet live. So Good night. Oh. anyway. And let me now that everybody's here. Let okay, me no. thank you for the talk you just did for my class. That was so much fun. It was very well received. I sure wish I could have talked longer, but you can only talk as long as you can talk. You know, the the they only give you an hour. How long is your trip going to be? I haven't decided. Oh, DC. Oh, the whole thing. I haven't decided. I don't have a flight home. How long are you staying in DC? I arrive on Tuesday at seven, and okay, I fly well, out on that's Sunday. Draw the attention of Homeland Security. <clears throat> Tuesday to Sunday. Yeah, yeah I was wondering about that. I've never booked anything but a round trip. Do, do they not? Why? I just never went. Did I, I just always had my itinerary? So no. Uh, Carl's question is, I think, valid. They do look at people who take one-way tickets someplace uh, suspiciously sometimes. Well, that's fine. They can be suspicious as they want. I have TSA clear, so. I've done a lot of one-ways, and I've never gotten flagged. Yeah, I, did, I did once, but it was like one month after 9-11. <laughs> yeah, you're suspicious. I had a one-way one to New York and a one-way from D.C. I was checked both times. Mm. No, I've never had anything. And if they want, they can look and see that I'm, I've got an itinerary. It's just, I will have it before I leave. I will have a return flight, but I just don't have it yet. Cause I don't know where else I'm stopping. I'm going from place to place to place, place the flights. So. I was in DC a week before 9-11. We stayed at the Pentagon Holiday Inn in Virginia. Mm. And it was Springs, creepy. Silver Springs. Everything happened afterwards, you know? Um, Kyle, what you got for Data Skeptic? I listened to your last one. Oh boy, I gotta check what just came time out. Time series. Yeah, we're covering time series, and then we're talking about clustering algorithms, which has yeah. been the real hot subject. Uh, this most recent episode, I speak to one guy from Europe who uh, does a lot of like um, industry stuff. So we talk about how like banks will use this to try and group their customers. Uh, just an exploration of different algorithms and how people apply the clustering algorithm in practice. And that's this week on Data Skeptic. Great. And Richard Saunders isn't here and Adrian's not here. So I can't do, tell you what's going to be next on that. Um, uh, I don't have any upcoming talks or anything, anything else that I needed to go. You can brag about something. Well, I'm happy to have a bragger. Go for it. Um. In the upcoming Japanese edition of Joe Yusinski's book, Conspiracy Series, A Primer, it will be featuring uh, my photo I took of him at PsyCon. Oh, oh, that's great. Tremendous. That's good news. And I, that's one of the reasons why I always try and work in 
like signage for SciCon or CSI in the photo so that if they get used like something like that, it's free advertising for CSI. That's, oh. that's great news. And no, oh, that, is, and, that is smart. And, it, and in lieu of a fee, I'm getting a free copy of the book, mm. even though it'll be in, probably in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fantastic. And I can okay. promise you that what I'm about to suggest is not nearly as sophisticated as a fart joke, but would you like to see a cartoon that I found very funny? Okay, go, go ahead. On. So I'm copying over the photos of the... Uh -huh. see it? Yep. Oh yeah. Well, it He's on happened push. just as... <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Who? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who? Who's on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. I can't read his last name. Who? H. U. Okay, that is. H. U. Who's on first? That By the way, it's a pun. Uh, did did it? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Someone. Uh, gee, I guess it must be about fifteen years ago. Did it? Uh, did everybody see that video of uh, where uh, 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 George W. Bush was asking about the new premier of China? General who is the premier of China? Oh, who's the premier of China? Who is yes. the premier of China? That's ah uh, yes. And then they go, uh, okay. Here we go. So next up is who's up next? That um, Robin's fourth, right? Yeah, I'm oh. up next. Carl. Oh, so. We will make him a co-host. How about that? That'll work. Okay, so something's give us some uh, challenge there, Carl. Something to do with TV? All right, so um, it's TV show mystery theme round. I will read nine <laughs> descriptions of a TV show. I provide the years the show aired. You need to figure out what the name of the TV show is. And for the 10th question, you need to figure out what all nine of these TV shows have in common. Besides being on TV. Yes. What, what thing do they singularly have in common? What's really special about that? Something special. So, so you're talking about all of the questions you're giving us or? Yeah, the first nine questions will be descriptions of TV shows of some Okay, of, of some variety, including the, the year. will be something. Yep, else. and okay. the bonus will be what what ties them together. Exactly. Okay. All right. All right. Except in this case, it's not the bonus, right? It's, it's not the bonus. Time. Sorry, ten. It's not the bonus. It's just the final question. Mm -hmm. All right. So, are you ready on the mute hammer? Here it comes. All righty. Question number one. 1964 to 72 TV series starring an actress with a last name that is the same as the first name of the character Scotty from Star Trek. Number two, 1978 to 81 TV series in which a group of convicts and outcasts used a highly advanced spaceship with a talking computer to fight a guerrilla war against the totalitarian Terran Federation. Number three, 1976 to 81 TV series where a wealthy mystery man runs a detective agency via a speakerphone. Number four, 1996 to 2002 TV series where the deputy mayor of New York City and his team of halfwits must constantly save the mayor, played by Barry Boswick, from embarrassment and the media. Number five. 2003 to 2015 TV series where a hedonistic jingle writer's freewheeling life comes to an abrupt halt when his brother and 10 year old nephew move into his beachfront house. Number six, 2002 to 2014 and 2016 to current, TV series where the hosts talk about everything car related. Uh, it, it's a relaunched version of a show that ran from 78 to 2002. Uh, 
Number seven. Ran from 1988 to 99, 2012, 2016 to 2017, and 2020. TV series featuring the adventures of the last human alive and his friends stranded 3 million years into deep space on a mining ship. Number eight. 1998 to 2006 TV series where three sisters discover their destiny to battle against the forces of evil using witchcraft. Number nine. 1977 to 84. TV series featuring the misadventures of two women and one man sharing an apartment. And number 10, what do all these shows have in common? And if there's no confusion or questions, I will open the breakout room. I need to add Gail to her room and Alan to his to his room. Welcome, Alan. So uh, give me a minute and I will be in my room. Don't guess all the answers yet. Um, Gail and Alan. So let's put Alan over here. Hey, Susan, I was uh, not in the right room. Okay. Fix that right now. And you're supposed to be in two? Yep. Robert, Robert. Good category, by the way. Oh, there you are. Okay, it should be fixed now. Okay, I'm going to three. I keep not watching. I even know Susan talks about it all the time. Are we talking about Red Dwarf? Three, three is. No. Three is Charlie's Angels. Yeah, three is Charlie. I didn't yeah. read these questions yet. I just barely looked at them. Okay. Number four, 96 to 2002 TV series where the deputy mayor of New York City and oh. his team of halfwits must constantly save the mayor, played by Barry Boswick from em embarrassment and the media. God, I remember that. What was that? No clue. Um, hmm. Is that the... Uh, Is that like the police show um, with the guy from Saturday Night Live too, uh, 99 or something? What the hell's it called? Number seven is Red Dwarf. You probably already know that because Caspian's here. At least I assume Caspian's There's here. a TV show with the, with the guy from Saturday Night Live is on. It, it's a detective show. I'm thinking that's it. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, 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 Spin City? No, I didn't see that. Is that it? That sounds right. Somebody trying to. Yeah, it could be. Okay, but I was thinking okay, of a well, different we'll one. We'll pencil that in. Yeah, I was thinking of a different one. But that sounds better. Yours sounds better than mine. I was thinking of the one. Um, I don't know if it's called Precinct 99 or something like that. But it, it, I don't know, 99 to two, 96 to 2002. Hmm. Yeah, yours is better. Number five. Oh, that's uh, three, uh, two and a half men, number five. Three, three's company, uh, one of them, wasn't it? That's yeah, well, number nine. Uh, yeah, that's three's company. Hedonistic jingle writer, three-wheeling lifestyle comes to an abrupt halt when his brother and a 10-year-old nephew move into his house. That's two and a half men. Number eight. And that number was number six, five? That was number five, two and a half men. Number six, six. 2012 to 14, and 2016 to current. Was that Top Gear? I think so. This is the British show. Okay. Because I know it I stopped guess. for a bit. And then the, the public said, uh, bring it back, assholes. I'm running out of power. I gotta Pardon me. I, <laughs> Did I we just get number six? on the recorded. Did we get six? We're talking about number six. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I, I was uh, offering Top Gear. Yeah, I, that's what I would guess. Okay. And Susan says seven is Red Dwarf. It is. 
All I heard was mining ship. That's the only part I heard when he was reading it. I said, oh, that's my door. You guys don't know what I'm doing is in the background is whenever you guys are reading the questions, I'm just copying them over onto a spreadsheet and I'm trying to get it perfect, just nice and neat and everything. So I, I'm not half the time paying that much attention. It's sad, but in which a group of convicts. Number you know, I was thinking Sabrina or something, but that's the wrong time period. What about Charmed? Which one's this, number eight? Yeah. What's the one with... Um... Yeah, Charmed could be the one. Okay, so here I have a question for you guys. What have we got already? Because that might give us the theme. And then if we have the theme, we can go back and probably pick the, the ones we don't know. So we've got Charlie's Angels, Red Dwarf, Three's Company, what else? Who's right Number two, do you agree that that's Blake seven? Number two? Oh, hi, that sounds right. Let me look at it again. It's not Battlestar Galactic. No, no, it's not. It is not My Battlestar Galactic. My Buck Rogers. But it's a group of convicts. Buck Rogers. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Blake seven. Blake seven. Blake seven. They're all people's names There's so far, isn't it? There's numbers in them? No. Well, no. Blake Not Seven, Free's Company, Charlie's Angels. So we've got four. three with with numbers, Blake Seven, Two and a Half Men, and Three's Company. Which one was Two and a Half Men? What number is that? Five. Could it be math related? I mean, because you've got a... They were all in the 20th century. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're all trying to the 20th there's something a, a character named charlie how about that no huh. no uh, there's no Bewitch. charlie and blake seven is there there is no charlie and blake seven or in red dwarf that i can recall well i only got charlie and two of them i was trying to make a connection <laughs> charlie's uh, angels well, and you charlie's got two and a half men right three's company and blake seven so you got you got three of them at least that have numbers in them so could it be and a dwarf a red dwarf is this is a you know a astronomical thing and angels are in the sky I'm what about angels there's no angels here charlie's angels oh i was thinking i was thinking that charlie might be the thing in that one could okay. it be that these are these are all the names of stars or planets in another solar system or something Blake? No. No. No, that doesn't seem to fit with everything else. Okay, so we don't have four, right? What did you think it was? That was Spin something, Spin City, or what did you guys think? Mm hmm. Is it called Spin City? I believe so. Would that fit with whatever theme? It's, it's, it's the one where Michael J. Fox was on it. Oh, Barry Boss. Spin City. Yes, it that was, was the, where he plays a Republican and a family of liberals. No, 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 no. That's no. a different show. No, not that was family something. Family this ties. Is the, yeah, this is the one where Michael J. Fox, I think I believe, is always trying to cover the base. And then he got sick and he got off the show. And then other people come on instead. And Barry Bostwick was a fumbling, ma bumbling mayor. I That's believe it was. No. Wasn't, wasn't Michael J. Fox on that originally? Am I thinking of somebody else? Well, Michael mm -hmm. J. Fox certainly wasn't on at least a couple of these British shows. Yeah. Right, right. No, I know that. Yeah, I was trying to think of an actor, but I, it, it'd be very rare for an actor to be on all these various okay, shows. Okay, what do we have for six, or do we even have a guess? Top Gear. Top Gear. Oh, it is, that's a show I've never heard of it. It was, it was a big show if you were into cars even i heard of it and i don't give a crap about cars Top gear. okay so <laughs> we've got gears dwarfs angels okay and eight what do we think three sisters discover their destiny to battle against the forces what do you think i think it? it's charmed based on the time period okay I'm not seeing maybe there's a okay so it doesn't seem to be something that has to do with the theme of the the names of the shows 
So it must be they all have the same director or they have some actor that's been in all of these or somebody writing these down. I have them on my little thing, but I don't Can you share your part. screen at all. No, I have Bewitched, Blake Seven, Charlie's Angels, Spin City, Two and a Half Men, Top Gear, Red Dwarf, Charmed, Three's Company, and Ten is the Unknown. Oh, okay. I just reading question one for the first time. Starring an actress with the last name Montgomery. Elizabeth Montgomery. So yeah, it's Bewitched. Same name as the okay, Bewitched. Okay. All right, so who's been on, could these all be, have all been on the same network channel? Not Blake Seven, for sure. Oh, okay. And number, top, what was number two, Blake? Well, Blake was number seven. two? Two was Blake Seven? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so some of these are British, so that wouldn't make any sense. How about the same, an act, I doubt it. Red Dwarf and Blake Seven? I can't think of any actors they had together who were like in Charlie's any Angels. Different. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, the original Charlie's Angels is such a time difference than something like. And then combining that with like Bewitched. How about Robert Blake? Was Robert Blake in every one of these shows? No, not in, no, or, not in okay. Top Gear. <laughs> I mean, didn't uh, Blake Seven didn't really have any famous people, right, Caspian? Not really, no. Nobody who really went on to be like. Monty Python or anything. God, this is good. Okay, You've got to stop there. That, We've got but... almost all the answers. Well, I can tell you that at least one oh. team has figured out the theme correctly. I have God a feeling they they all were we're on. We're staying here until we Listen, figure it out. So don't bring it all, all English. I got it. I got it. What? They were all on the Twilight Zone. There's a connection to the Twilight Zone here. Who were? Elizabeth Montgomery. Oh, she was. I'm thinking that maybe there's a connection played, to the Twilight yeah. Zone. Well, what does that have to do with Blake Seven or Red Dwarf? Well, no, any of the characters the in that show on well, on the Twilight Johnny Zone? Johnny Jules and and Who on the company? And, or whatever. Nor oh, uh, Norman Fell was he on a? Not that I know was of. He, nobody in Red Dwarf would have been on. No, a bit character maybe. But that's maybe really did, did they all oh, host Saturday Night Live or something like that? Saturday Night Live, no. That's a good guess, though. It God, could be a show like those that. British ones, it just doesn't fit. But it's definitely the correct answer. Could, really could it be a song? Is it any chance of oh, lyrics? Oh, are they? Okay, the first one is Bewitched, second one's Blake, seven, third one's Charlie's Angel. So it's B, B, C. No, because it got. What's the fourth one? Spin City, right? R, C, T. B B C T R C T T R C T. First letters of these things doesn't spell anything. Like seven. And it's not like it's a woman in the lead role in each one. Um, Somebody else got this, you guys. That's not fair. We can't, we can't allow that. I know. Keep going. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm writing them down and looking at them as I go through. What's number six? Top gear. Top gear. Top and gear. Think of something else that would fit better based on once we know the what they have in common, that might change number right. six. But these look like they're good so, answers. But though. someone thought that was that was correct though. I thought it was because there was a very popular show and then one of the actors was, uh, you know, canceled and they canceled the show, but the audience really loved the show and they brought it back. And did it run in 78, the original version? Top Gear? Yeah. Relaunched version of a show that ran from 78 to 2002. And Maybe it's trios. Is it Hawaii Five O? If it was seventy eight, are you talking about this number version, six? The I'm first version seventy eight to two thousand two. I wrote two thousand two to two thousand fourteen. Caspian right, question, is trying to tell us what he thinks the theme is. You guys, the theme is trios. 
I think all of these shows feature a trio of main actors. That main makes characters. sense. No, Blake Seven. Blake that, that's true Avon, for top and here. what's her name? Yeah, what's Anna. her name? And Red yeah. Dwarf. The witch has the mother, the father, and the daughter. Lister, and the cat, Rimmer, and Lister the cat. Rimmer, and Crichton. Not in, for uh, two seasons. It's that the only sense. thing I can find that's a. Um, yeah, a the number three trend. stands out. Charlie's Angels has the three women. Um, there was four three women. sisters. Top Gear has three hosts. Two and a half men is two guys and one boy. That's three people. And Bewitched is like, you know. The mother, Darwin. the father, and, and the daughter. No, right. no, no. The mother in law. Yeah, but then the daughter comes along in a few years later. So yeah. you might be it was right. Three yeah. at first. It really feels like we're reaching because that seems like yeah. a, that's I, the closest. Yeah, but I can't I think of anything right else. Now. Yeah, right. I don't either, but that makes sense to me. That might just be a normal meme of a, TV, a successful TV show is to usually have a, a trio of people as the main characters. And then, I mean, that might just be natural. I don't know. That's it, what we got. It, unless the trio we have is a pretty easy way to build your uh, main what was What was eight again? Charmed? Charmed. Charmed. Was there three people in that? <clears throat> well, it's the three sisters. Yeah. Oh, right oh yeah. Different. Okay, that's right. And what number nine is what? Um, Three's company, right? Three's company. Yeah. Well, that's obvious. Jack Tripper. Well, it's called Three's Company. Yeah. The number three, the number three stands out in every one. Blake Seven, I don't get the connection for three. I never really watched Blake Seven, so I don't, I can't speak to it. There were basically three primary characters. But the computer uh, Orac was the fourth one. He was a prominent person in that. And yeah, same with Red Dwarf, yeah. Holly and he's now, a Holly major wasn't character. prominent. It was three main people. But there's a, no, there's four in Red Dwarf. And there's I, I would so argue five. that he was a lesser character, and that trio is the only thing that can join these bunch i think caspian we makes a good enough case that if it's wrong probably it's still almost King right Carl's mind. Three, three humans <laughs> would you say about caspian if it's wrong what i think he makes a good enough case that if it's not what carl was going for he might be able to change carl's mind carl's here right now you know that right <laughs> Well, I mean, he's got all those question marks around his head. Clearly, he's considering it. <laughs> okay. And four, we have Spin City or something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spin City's right. I'm, I'm almost sure of that one. I think, I, I think it's going to be three main characters were replaced. Three different Charlie's Angels, remember? And they, they had different, the third one, Farrah Fawcett, then somebody else and somebody else. They all have characters replaced because that that's another thing. A character Red Dwarf didn't have characters company. replaced. Yeah. A character was replaced on Bewitched, you know, Darren and Darren. A character was placed on Charlie's Angels. Oh, wait a minute. Replaced. Could, no, because that wouldn't fit with Top Gear because those are actual people, not characters. And it wasn't Red Dwarf. They never replaced anybody. No, they did replace the actors for Crichton and Holly. But as we said, you're saying those aren't the... Oh, now I'm all kerfuffled. I guess we need to... Well, the three thing is the best thing we got. Trios. Trios. Yes, no. You're doing this game at... Some people have to go to bed like one or two in the morning. That's us. Yeah. It's, it's 30 minutes to midnight. It's 11.33 right where I am. 9.30 for it's, me. Yeah, 11.30. Uh, that must be exhausting. And, and we recorded. Susan was with us to record our, our failure of the, the category. We couldn't get the Well, we on. had two options of what, what trial them together, and we hope we picked the right one. Or even close. Oh, we, sure we, 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 got it. we think we got it. We think we, we got it. Alan, Alan is with us uh, traveling as he said he would be. 
Hi, Alan. He's on his way to Sacramento. Look, he's good. Boy. The car. Oh, Don't get in an accident. The traveling, the traveling to Sacramento is next week. I just finished the rehearsal of uh, Web Five. Oh. Nice. I love West Side Story. So much fun. Oh wow! Is it is a jet actually a jet? Hey, does what? anybody a know? It's a shark. Get the sound onto my 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 Bluetooth. Well, only car. tonight, Rob. Only tonight. Nice. Oh. <laughs> So Alan is asking for advice on getting the Bluetooth, the sound to come through his Bluetooth. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry, I, I'm having trouble hearing you on this thing. It's so determinant on the platform, the car and the phone, and it's like, uh, yeah. Go over and take care of it in a rest yeah. area. Don't you should do have it. a hands-free option. Don't do it. Not when he's driving. He's going to pull over and do, do this. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have to hands free if I'm making a phone call, and actually, when I uh, when I do uh, when I listen to something, but I can't get. It. But when I put you guys on, it, 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 uh, I lost it. So, huh. no idea. All right, all right, Carl. All, all right, right, Mr. With a K. Uh, I will. If anybody got the theme right. And they're not sure. I will be awful impressed because I would. I think if you got the theme, you you knew you had it right. Well, it depends how many other answers you. Well, got. well, we have to see. So we've got a good case for two different themes. So maybe number we can one, them on. go. Bewitched. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Number two, Lake Seven. Yep. Uh, yes. Hey. We take a wild guess on that. Yeah. that yeah. Number three, Charlie's Angels. Right. Number four, Spin City. Yeah. Oh, don't know what that is. Oh, I forgot that. Wow. Number yep. five, Two and a Half Men. Yep. Number six, Top Gear. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Number seven, Red Dwarf. Yep. Mm -hmm. Number eight, Charmed. Yeah, we're doing great. Number nine, Three's Company. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the theme in Bewitched. The actor who played Darren left and was replaced. In Blake Seven, Blake yes. left the show. Replacement. Charlie's Angels, the only remaining of the original Angels was Jacqueline Smith. Spin City, Michael J. Fox left. Two and a Half Men, Charlie Sheen left. Top mm -hmm. Gear, they fired Jeremy Clarkson and everybody else walked out with him. <laughs> Red Dwarf, the character who played Rimmer left for a season. No. Charmed, Shannon Doherty got fired. Three's Company, Suzanne Summers got fired when she insisted on getting paid the same as John Ritter. The other guy, too, Mr. Shows, Furley. The shows where a major that. starring actor or actress left the show, and the show continued on without them. Red Mr. Furley left, too. When did Rimmer get kicked Rick out? Rick Barry left for one season. He was not in one season of Red Dwarf. Which one? The that one you did seven. Say, one of the middle ones. So, Carl, <laughs> Carl, we, we, we generically, we said one of the main casts at least was swapped out. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. That's, that's, that that's true? the idea. Yes. Which yeah. one? When was Rimmer taken out? The middle of the seventh season. Yeah, we put something Thank to do with you. numbers. Chris Barry left. Yeah. And, I don't remember okay. that. And he came back. Another, another piece of trivia about Red Dwarf is the guy who played Rimmer actually had top billing on the show. Yeah. Oh, no, I heard that. Yeah. 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 Well, that's weird. I, I watch I, I, I watch very yeah, little TV, and I'm kind of surprised myself by getting one or two of uh, uh, of these cat in, in these categories. Huh. But 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 they, but but they end up being ones that the other people aren't. <laughs> that's why we play on teams. Yep, yeah. that's right, Carl. We totally guessed out of our asses for Blake Seven on number two because we know you love that. <laughs> I, I, I had the theme, Kyle, but my team talked me out because 
the shows okay, that I had, didn't know. There come was on, no Kevin. Replacement. We have like four or five things we talked to each other out of for the. <laughs> but I said replacements, and you guys said no because this guy didn't have one. This guy did. Okay, right, but yeah, but we also had other things we said. We were yeah, three. Wait, guests. you mean you let Susan talk you out of a correct answer? Amazing. No, I didn't wow, know because that never the, happened. The show she knew yeah. there was no replacement in. It, so, anyway. so I, gave I didn't up. know. Oh. I didn't. I I just. Cassidy I should have known Blake ours, Seven. I know that's a show that Carl yeah. likes, but I've mm-hmm. never watched it myself, so I never can think of it. I, but I it's come up Gary, multiple times for with if, Carl and questions. We, we, we guessed this for that one the, the other show was starting with a B and ending with a number. Babylon no, Five. Babylon Five. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I right, guess that was one of the shows that did not make the final cut for the questions, but it was one of the one of the original twenty-seven shows that I started out with. <laughs> You know, there's we did well anyway, Kyle. You'll be proud. I knew, I knew Top right. Gear, but I could not remember the name of Top Gear. So if we missed okay, that. so I gave you Alan. We're not a red herring. How did you guys do? We got eight. Well, there you go. I gave you Alan. Be happy. And I gave you Gail down here. And the Russian hackers come from Siberia. What did you get? Nine. Nine. There you go. See, I was thinking of you guys. Give you Alan and Gail. Okay, so let's go over here to Cooper's crew. Seven. Yeah, seven. uh, Seven. Ben Slaves of Gryffindor. Nine. And here come to judge. That's the team that uh, Carl was on. Nine. Nine, right? Yeah. Look at that. Did anyone else besides Ben team get the theme? We did. Yeah, we we got that thing. We we were talked out of it. <laughs> I didn't talk you out of it. No, we 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 didn't you watch when the we video had ten seconds to go and watch the video. We never got quite able to decide, so we just went right. with what we had thought of earlier. Exactly. See, mm-hmm. and I had mentioned that Shannon Doherty had been fired from Charmed and replaced with Rose McGowan. And if somebody had said, "Well, maybe that was the theme," we could have got it. Mm. Yeah, well, we, we thought you were gone. Our, our thought process people. to get us started with the Darren replacement and Bewitched. And we said, "Oh, wait a minute, that happened to Charlie's Angels, and that happened to that one." Yeah, yeah, and I remember anyway, the Top Gear yeah, news story. I'm gonna sign off now. All right, we're well, hanging out one more. Yeah. Night. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so, by the way, our, our, my my guess was that it was on uh, Carl's iPod. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Aspen shows that, have, shows that have been rebooted by other showmakers and were on my recent watch list. That's right. <laughs> shows I watched during COVID. Yeah. Shows I own a DVD of. Yeah, we were really confused Japan. because uh, you had Blake Seven and Red Dwarf, the British things. We were like, well, how could that be like mm-hmm. the same director, the same main actor, or whatever? Oh, we were just, we had a lot of good guests. We reasoned it out well and just didn't get there. We were close. Point, Another Blake minute we would have had it. And it didn't have seven. We got close. But we ended up with nine points, so I don't care. All yeah. right. So, Robin, you're up, girl to girl. Okay, uh, if you guys want, I can just dump the whole 10 questions into the chat and we can just proceed. Okay, let's Can't go. Do it in oh, crazy talk. But I like to see you talk, so. You how much text that, there is. What would, yeah. what, would, what, would, what would Kyle have to mute people for? For the recording, <coughs> Robin, it's good for the recording to at least say them. Or what's yeah, the kind of I, I will go through, I will, I'll go through them and then I'll dump it. Yeah. Okay. Four or five at a time, don't do all 10, it won't, it won't fit. Okay. What? I'm putting them in. What round is this? What round is this? Four. This is round four. We're way ahead of schedule, Alan. Wow, that's yeah. unusual. Okay. <laughs> I was on it today. Well, it really helps if we start on time. Yeah, it helps. And then everybody thinks a, big a little con- cautious, conscious about it because we talked about it last week. Was yeah, I was, I was, way, when I gave my answers, I was going to play a little video of every single episode, but I decided not to. Oh, thank you. Thank you that, Rob. <laughs> and by the way, as usual, I have attached a Word document with my round in the chat if anybody cares to download okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I can't currently get into chat, so I don't know if I have to leave and try and come back. Pretty good next week, Susan. Nobody. Put me down for one. It's a good, yeah, it's a good moment while she's loading it up into the thing. Okay. Uh, question number one. What's the category? Oh, what's the category? I'm not going to tell you the category. There's a oh. theme. And if you can guess the theme, that will help you answer the I question. Love it. I love these categories. 
All right. You do. You muting all. Who's muting? One second. Here it comes. <coughs> Mute all. Okay, and I unmuted myself. So number one, what kind of pan is the proper pan that you use to bake a cheesecake? <laughs> Boy, that's trivia. <laughs> <laughs> number two, George W. Bush had one named Spot, and George H. W. Bush had one named Millie. What is it? Number three, this coming of age rock musical is based on the 1891 German play by Frank Wedekind. It opened at the Eugene O'Neill Theater on December 10th, 2006. The cast included Jonathan Groff, Leah Michelle, John Gallagher Jr. And it won eight Tony Awards, including Tony's for the best musical direction, book score and featured actor named this play. Robin, are you going to put these in chat? I'm putting them in chat, yes. Because I don't see them. Uh, well, I'm putting them in chat in bulk. Oh, then she's so going to dump them. When okay. I push the, you're going to get a lot of them when I push the button. Question number four, where do the Simpsons live? Question number five, this Sonoran Desert City is famous for golf courses, an aerial tramway and a lesbian gathering called the Club Skirts Dinah Shore Weekend, pop popularly known as the Dinah. In the 1984 movie, Where the Boys Are, two characters, Lori and Sandra, are discussing what to pack for their upcoming trip. Lori says, Sandra, we're going to Fort Lauderdale for 10 days. All you need is a bikini and a diaphragm. Why were Lori and Sandra going to Fort Lauderdale? And now I gotta, now I gotta do more copying and pasting. The last four. Let's see. Uh, no, nothing's appeared in chat yet, Robin. Have you I know, I'm trying to put them all the in at once. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think, I said before, it has a text limit. So I don't know where you're pasting them to right now that you think you're gonna do it all at once. That's not gonna work luckily. All yeah, right. it's going to cut them off. Then I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and push. Yeah, hit push. now yeah, and then come back and. Okay. Try three or four at a time. And if they're big paragraphs, just do one at a time. Okay. You got six okay. in there. Six. That's good. Yeah. Number seven, this African mammal engages in quote unquote pronking in which the animal performs multiple leaps into the air up to two meters above the ground in a stiff-legged posture with the back bowed. What is this animal? Okay, wow. Now, now here's one that Peggy will get, and maybe she might be the only one because this is a lawyer question. Law students read a famous tort case called Catco versus Briny. In this case, a homeowner set a trap for trespassers, which would cause injury to a person opening the front door of the house. What is the trap called? <laughs> and number nine, this rock band formed in Los Angeles, California by Canadian musicians, Neil Young, Bruce Palmer, and Dewey Martin and American musicians, Stephen Stills and Richie Ferre. The group released three albums and several singles from 1966 to 1968. The band took their name from a steamroller parked outside their house. What's the name of the band? Number 10, last one. Cactus and grapefruit are words associated with what current American yearly ritual? This is weird. We got some weird stuff in here. Weird stuff, but if you figure out the theme. That's what maybe. happens with these. I love it. <laughs> All right. All right, theme uh, it up. Who's ready for the rooms? But bam. Okay, so let me put you guys, Kyle and Paula need to go into rooms. Let's see. So oh, I need to go back in room three. Okay, Paula goes in three. Kyle, you go into what? Four. 
you can put yourself, right? Okay. So I'm going to pour. Hello, y'all. Right. Hi, Susan. Am I supposed Hi, to be here? Or, yeah, five, five minutes. Know. Clear. So I'm still just looking at the questions. I know, me too. Oh, I hope you know. The... I'm trying yeah. to move them over to the. Okay. Just work, work, massage it a little. You get there. Oh, gee. Okay. I'm on seven here. I have to copy and paste them. It takes me a minute because I got right. to format it right. I know two. Okay. okay. You know number two or two of them? Number two. Is Two is a, a dog. 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 I thought so. You sure, it's not got, like a I'll... specific type of dog, like a Malamute or a. I, I I'll just tell you, I'd be looking for something more specific than dog. Okay. Okay. Didn't weren't they black and they had like long like ears? a Labrador? No, I thought they were more like. Um, Millie was a English Setter. No. Okay. I can see the dog in my mind, the black dog with long ears and kind of wavy black fur. What kind of dog was that? Well, maybe what when you, we get the theme will we'll make sense. Okay. What so do you, did you think of a dog? dog? Okay. Um, American yearly ritual, cactus and grapefruit. What's that? What could be a current American yearly ritual? Taxes? Oh. Let's go in order. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Well, I don't know three, but I know four is Springfield. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Do we have the first one? No. What kind of pan do you bake a cheesecake? I don't know. I never cake made pan? one. Kara, come on. Help us out here. What kind of pan do you bake a cheesecake in? A cheesecake pan? What kind of pan has to file for bankruptcy right after the pandemic? A dead pan? Maybe. <laughs> I just know the Cheesecake Factory. They were the first to bust. Oh, oh they're not around yeah. anymore? They were the first company to file for bankruptcy, like the first major big bankruptcy. Oh, are they still around? I, I'm sure they recapitalized. We don't have one in my area. Can you, Sonoma they're not missing much. famous for golf courses. I hear it's just very expensive and a lot of calories. Okay. Yes, exactly. Desert City. So we're looking for a city. Where is the Sonoran Desert? Sonora? Uh, yeah. Is that New Mexico or Arizona? Oh, I don't know. Kyle's closest. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds familiar, but I can't place Sonora. Okay, Sonora Desert City. I think it's I think it's Arizona. Famous for okay. golf Spotsdale? courses. Uh, or or Palm Springs. Oh, oh yeah, the tramway. Yeah. That's Palm Springs. 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 That's the key. Springs. Awesome. So the a number spring pan. Form. What Karen? Spring form. Spring form. Spring form. Excellent. Yeah, I remember that now. Spring form. So yeah. there you go. We got our key. Thanks, Keurig. So the spring. Springtime. And what was the play? Rock music. Springtime in springtime in Hitler or what was it? Oh yeah, oh, Hitler. That's a different thing. Oh, it is springtime for it. For Hit, yeah, There's some. Uh, and is there a Bruce Springfield in here somewhere? <laughs> is there an answer? That this be is a Eugene. Oh no, that's a theater. Um, Tony Awards. That's musical. Hot spring. Hot spring. It has spring in it. Okay, let me look at these now that we know that. Let's see. Yeah. So 
So number six is spring break, right? Oh Sounds yeah. Right. Yeah. Seven. Springville platypus, no spring. Uh. Okay, so this case would be a spring, a spring, a trap of spring door yeah. trap. Maybe it's just it's, it says it causes injury to the person as they come into the house. So it'd be something that's on a like a mouse, a, like, like that, a, yeah. like the the door springs back and hits the person and hurts them. Yeah, a spring spring trap. Spring door trap? I don't know. I never I don't heard know, of this. But it, the, the bush dogs are Springer Spaniels. Oh, there it is. that's perfect. There's got to be a spring heel Jack in one of these answers then. And Bruce Springfield. Springsteen. Oh, Springsteen. Yeah, okay. Okay, now number nine. I know I know this. It's. I thought it was thought Crosby, Stills, and Nash, but it doesn't fit. I thought it was the birds. No. Um, okay. Let me ask Mark. What's wrong in Los Angeles? We had Neil Young, Bruce Palmer, and let me, let me take a picture of it and let me ask him. Yeah. Hold on. I know he knows this. Steam had a steamroller. Bruce. That I would think would be Mannheim steamroller. Yeah, but there's no spring in that. And Mannheim steam, aren't they from another country? I imagine maybe, yeah. Yeah. So they wouldn't have been gotten started in LA. It's um Canadian musicians. Nobody's from LA. This rock band formed in LA. Okay, I, I will, he'll, he'll know it. You're right. Good point. Cactus and grapefruit. You know, number seven seems like a giraffe to me, but um, I don't know if there's a spring giraffe. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That was easy. <laughs> what is it? Mark Mark actually, when he was doing uh, playing in a band, he, he opened for this group, Buffalo Springfield. Oh, oh there it is. That's <laughs> it. All right. I only read like the first half sentence to him. <laughs> All right. Then. Okay, uh, so we're on. We're, do we get seven? Because I was out of the room. No. Well, I thought it. I thought it was a giraffe, but I don't know how that's a spring. Spring. No. Springer. African mammal. Okay, spring. Okay, the cactus and grapefruit are words associated with what? Spring. Spring harvest. Mm. Spring. Oh, this the spring cleaning. The spring. No, the spring. This, what do you call the spring equinox? I think it's spring cleaning. Uh, the summer solstice, and then the spring equinox. Spring equinox. Yep. Sure. <laughs> no, how would that be American? Because uh, anything, well, you know, anything current, that's good is American. Current American ritual. Yeah. Current American the equinox, ritual is spring the cleaning. Cactus, grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll claim it. <laughs> okay, I'll defer to a better answer easily. I think it's spring cleaning. Cleaning? And something cleaning. What's the, like, what's like, the cactus? It probably has something to do with um, uh, that. What's her name? The that Japanese woman. No, I, I watched I, all of those. Marie Kondo. She, does that yeah, Marie Kondo. Cactus and grapefruit. Grapefruit. No, no? she never okay. never mentioned cactus or grapefruit. Okay, well then I take that back. But um, she mentioned, did it? Does it spark joy? Does this spark joy? Uh, okay. We don't have time eight. for Hitler. Is that what that was? Yeah. Oh, number three. 
I'll, well, I think that's later, but it's better than nothing. Put it. I'm put. We're putting it. German I, play. Yeah, good enough. No idea what that. I've I never seen it, but. Okay. Um, I haven't either. Uh, what are we missing? We are missing seven, one, seven and eight. Seven, seven and eight. eight and ten. Do we seven, have one? Eight. Yeah, it's a spring yeah. form. Spring yeah. form pan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. Um. A current American yearly ritual. Well, it's got to have spring in it. So, it's... so it probably happens in spring. Spring yep. plantings, no cactus and grape. I think it's the equinox. Can't... It's some kind of ritual with the equinox that all the Wiccans do or something. Mm, I don't know. Or what else could there be? A diet, dieting, the grapefruit diet. Oh no. Oh boy. What did we get for eight? Nothing. Oh. I think we were going to put like spring door or spring but spring trap. How about that? Sure. Whatever eight is, I want to know. I'm going to install that. <laughs> spring, a springing African porker. Spring pork. I'm sad there's spring no spring heel jack. Or Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, we could have got Bruce Springsteen. That's just be too obvious, I think. No idea, but I'm really curious about 10. Yeah. Well, good job, team. Very cold in his place. Because we, we only turned our heat on. Yeah, you could switch to one of the more smart thermostats, Carl, and it'll automatically, you can set a max and min. Yeah, I, I thought about that. That was should. fun. That was fun, Robin. I'm glad you liked it. I, I wish we could use a smart thermostat in our house because we have ductless heat pump. Unfortunately, like the wireless nature of the controls and everything, it's all mm -hmm. its own thing. So it doesn't work quite like a normal thermostat. Just putting my <laughs> yeah. we have no heat. in the chat. Anytime someone says heat pump, all I can think of is these commercials that the local gas company ran in St. Louis in the 80s using Jim Varney from Ernest. And they would, uh, they would say, heat pump, schmeat pump. Oh, those Schmitt were local? Pump. Those weren't like nationwide? Oh, that was the Cle Cleek gas commercials, I think. Oh, yeah. And, and Robin, unless, yeah. unless some gas companies oh, made them and sold them to various And they're starting to talk about gasoline, so please go. Uh, heat um, pump, schmeat pump. Gonna, Does anyone uh, here yes. have a heat pump? Here are our answers. Not gasoline. Yeah. Ooh, you can gas. look at Ooh. them in the yeah. job carriage. Yeah. Boom. Spring awakening. Boom. Spring awakening. Boom. Spring awakening. Yeah, I didn't. Boom. Oh, spring spring form. Okay. Spring or spaniel. Spring ah. awakening. Boom. We were so close to number there eight. Anything no. we didn't get, I think we got them all. You know, if you put spring mm -hmm. trap or if you had the word oh. spring, I okay. think it's okay for the spring oh, gun. Oh, good. Uh, Not just I, the I word spring. Hey. Question. Spring Not trap. Not just the word spring. spring. Robin, would you like to say the know, answers like, for the recording's sake? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Answer to number one, it's a spring form pan that you use to cook a cheesecake. Uh, mm, number cheesecake. two, those two presidents like oh, spring, spring. spring or spaniels. Number three, Spring Awakening is the mm. musical. You, uh, Jonathan Groff and Leah Michelle, hello. Jonathan Groff, you know, played mm. uh, King George in Hamilton, the original Broadway cast. And of course, Leah Michelle was in what was that show? The TV Glee. show Glee. Uh, Glee. She was. <coughs> she had become fit. That was her big break. Was Spring Awakening. Uh, number four, The Simpsons lived in Springfield. Number five, Palm Springs. Number six, Spring Break. Number seven, A Springbok. <laughs> number eight, A Spring Gun. Oh, or spring or Spring Trap. It. Spring Gun. Number nine, Buffalo Springfield. And number 10, spring, spring training. training. No, uh, <laughs> Rob, she said we could count it because we had spring trap in it. Spring trap is okay. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yep. 10. Boy, in that makes in the case, it was called a spring gun, but spring trap. Oh, is that okay. really threw me. 
Oh, that makes sense. Cactus but, and grapefruit, what does that have to do with spring training? Well, Arizona. The cact, if, if your team goes to Arizona for spring training, you're in the yeah. Cactus League. And if your team goes to Florida for spring training, you're right. in the Grapefruit right. League. Oh, that oh. does. I think I have wow. that. You're right. We you're did right. not oh, know funny. that. Sure. That sounds familiar now. God, I learned so much. And, and you know, you know who, when you uh, learn something new, it shoves something out that you already knew. So I, you have to say, I, I, I'm lucky I watched a lot. <laughs> legal eagle that i knew what eight was talking about ah yes. like i i know the case <laughs> but yeah but i couldn't i couldn't tell you about the exact verbiage in it did they and do a lot of damage training, to my... i have to credit my husband he designed question number 10. oh mm. good. yeah we have um, he's been have... watching spring training <laughs> baseball games nonstop. Mm -hmm. we have a uh, cape cod uh, league too that was on uh, in a movie that was on uh so how mm. How was your steamroller named Buffalo Springfield? I don't know, but it, I got lifted it off the Wikipedia site. So I think maybe I don't know. I'll ask Mark. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe they named the their steamrollers just like the brand. You know, yeah, the company the, name. They named I think them. you know it. Given the era and the people who were in the band, do you know how they really named Steely Dan? About the, their steamroller. How do they name uh -uh. Steely Dan? Well, it could be Buffalo, New York, and Springfield, Illinois, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did Dan have braces or something? Kevin? No, no. Steely Dan was a steel dildo from the back of a magazine. <laughs> oh wow! Yep, yeah. it was uh, from. Uh, that was stainless steel. Mm, I don't know. Stainless steel. <laughs> yep. All oh, of them were solid. The Steely that's Dan. I don't know. Funny. I don't know if I had it batteries. From, in um, I'll um, never see it the same. Yes, seriously. Oh, what was the play? It, um, um, uh, wait, oh, shoot. I don't look at it. A, a beat. Hey, let's do our scores. Awakening. Yep. Okay, so number Burrows. two, we're not a red herring. What do you got? Nine. Look at that. All right, so Cooper's crew. Seven. Evening it up. Russian hackers. Nine. Okay. And then let's go up to Ben Slaves. Ben. Oh. You seem so modest. Nice. Um, here come to judge. Nine. Oh. Wow. There so we close. are. That's that's high. Look at this team. Oh my gosh. 37. The max points you could have at this point is 40. So that's Ah, oh, we haven't had a long time. But it's that it's good. So hopefully, Faith kicks some ass and makes it so that they don't. There's a little. And I like the name. I like the name of that team name. That's a apropos for today. Yeah. <laughs> so Faith is. We get a point for that. No. <laughs> I like it when it's timely. That's really fun. Okay, Faith, bring it all in. You're on mute. The top ten blood vessels. <laughs> Something that is going to really put. Hold on a second. She's having audio problems. I'm on a Mac and I don't know there how to navigate right now. It. So. Yep. <laughs> Wait a second. I figured out how to find Zoom. <laughs> well, we can see you. So you must be on it. Yeah. yeah Do you want me I'm... to mute we all hear or you. leave it? We hear you. Um, you can mute everybody. All right. Here comes oh, oh, the mute oh, all. Okay. Get ready, Faith. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on a Mac and this is like completely foreign to me. So, okay, so I had four category four <laughs> things picked out. Some of them are very easy and some of them are harder. And since the scores are very close together, we're doing a hard one. All right. Um, <laughs> well, they're close together for some people. Let's see, okay. So I went to Wikipedia and was looking up like the top 10 best lists um, of things. And this is what I'm going to give you is the top 10 of the best selling books, according to Wikipedia. And I'm going to give you the books and you have to put them in correct order. So the first one will be which one is that has sold the most copies. Um, let me, is it as of scoring? a certain year or something or you have how that works in scoring is i'm going to give them to you out of order and you have to give it to me in the correct order yeah but how how do you get points if you, you get, saying, if, if you get the first one wrong then all 10 are wrong no 
No, if you get the first, I'm going to give you the 10 books. They're not in the correct chronological order. In order to get a point, you're going to have to put book one, the first book you pick, you're going to have to figure out, is this book potentially the one that, yeah. This is worse than mono rules. So, <laughs> so yeah, so, so if you pick one, number one, you get we'll number one wrong, you get something else wrong. So, so if there are the books. Every book, every book that's in the right position is a point. And all every book in the right back. position is a point. At and I have... This, um, what if it, what if everything is offset by one, but nine that's, of them That could the happen. Point, that's, but none of them are in the right spot. Then you that's get right. zero points. Then you get zero points. with it. It, wow. the, I considered cool. this and once, Faith, and I wasn't evil enough to do Miners. it. Let's we'll try it. <laughs> right. It's not. We're not playing for money. So this is congratulations on making me yearn for money. So models. is this um the best selling <laughs> wow. of all time or yes? And this is um and how Wikipedia has come up with this is um there's no books that are um parts of trilogies or you know like Don Quixote is not included in this Lord of the Rings. Count of Monte Cristo, um, because some of those they can't find complete lists, um, oh, and they've and they've excluded the Bible and the Quran and the Book of Mormon from this as well. In Scientology. Oh boy. So, so number nine, that there's no typo there. Let me come back and see. No, it is the book is called She: A History of Adventure. Yeah, well, you forgot the mm -hmm. Bible, right? The, I told you there's the Bible. This is according. Right. To, I will provide you the Wikipedia gotcha. list. Gotcha. The Bible, the Quran, all of that's not included um, because this. Voice code handbook's not on the list. It's this is four. this page, <laughs> page provides the list of best-selling individual books, and then, and and then yeah. So that's. Somebody send uh, this to rooms so, before. Wait, we wait no, 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 no. Wait a minute. I'm still in shock from the to how we're getting points, but I are, we, are we putting them in? Yeah, public I didn't page? register you're by putting, date or book, by volume. So if you think. And then there were none has sold the most copies. Okay. So it's by most ever. copies. It's That's it, what yes. it is. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not publication order, it's by most copies. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get publication hey, hey, order? You guys I you told you, to I was in faith. shock when I heard how the points uh, were working. You gotta you gotta have faith, Bob. You gotta have faith. Uh, <laughs> now in courting and looking at that. this, and I will and I will tell you this, looking at this, there are a couple that um have the same amount of approximate sales. So like if there's two books that are technically at the top. So if you get those in order, one or two will give you. If you're very, very close. Yes, if you're very, very close. Okay, I got so. it. I can do this. I don't know about it. Okay. So, so you've given us all of the books, and we just have to do what yes. in order. Yeah, there's 10 listed there in chat, and you have to assume that that is not the correct order already. It's okay. not. I put it in a randomizer. <laughs> okay. Did it a couple times. So that's which a correction. Okay, so I have one more question, just which because I thought I heard going? you say that things that were part of series weren't included but i see lots of things that are part no of the thing a book series so that's why the whole it's entire not the harry potter book oh, the harry potter series is not included in this yeah it's okay. a book it's but a the, book it's yeah. a book mm -hmm. okay all right which, all right. Okay. which order are we doing these in are we going best to which one is number the one is the number, the number number one, one is sold the most copies okay. number two is sold the most right, copies okay. etc second most second most yeah also, I made this the mistake that I always make, which is um, getting into the wrong room or being in the, in wrong, the wrong room last. And now I have to go back to room four. So, so you are in. Let's see. I've been assigned. Somebody is trying oh, to. Oh, there you are. You're in two. Two, which is the last place I was. Four. I screwed up. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to five. I'll see you guys later. Um, okay. So I yeah, a lot of people. Heard of one Oops. Of Are we in the wrong room? Me We're in the right room. Yeah. No. We're in the right room. She, a history of adventure. I've That's never heard of. Before. I read that it's Ryder Haggard. He wrote uh, King Solomon's Mines. I have. I found that. I read it. It's really wild. Does that mean good wild or wild wild? Yeah, it's, you know, it's a, it's kind of an older. It's out there. It's. It's, it's a very heard of book. It. I've read it many years ago. Yeah, I've never yeah. heard of It's not going to be way near the top of the list. Obviously. I think Harry Potter. Uh, I thought it's going to be way up there. Number but one or be two. ahead of Pinocchio. I thought Da Vinci Code was number one. And then there were none. Is um, it's Agatha Agatha Christie. Christie. I know that sold well, yeah. but I don't know if it's. It's probably like eight or something, you know. The Hobbit's there. 
Tale, Tale of Two Cities is like every high school I never in America it. has to be Tale of Two Cities. Okay, so, so what do we think is the contenders for the Why top? don't we do this systematically and say, what was the, when do we think is first? What do we think is second? Or how about See, we group them as top, middle, and bottom? Well, that's not going to help if we have to have the exact number. Yeah, but we could go from top, middle. We could agree to what's probably top and what's the bottom and what's probably in the middle and then move them from there. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think is top? My uh, Da Vinci Code was... and the Lion, Witch, and the War. Oh, no, wait. Da Vinci Code and Harry Potter. Harry uh, Potter. I, Harry Potter. Just the little print. I think the Little Prince, that is an awfully popular book and has been around yeah you, you read time. it in french class really we, i thought we, i thought tale of two cities no we hear those. Gonna be way up there yeah. i think they're going to be in the middle and, and what we should do so what we should do is name one book 10 times at least we'll get one point <laughs> well i know i know harry potter was and da vinci code were were like beyond uber popular I think Da Vinci Code is more popular than Harry Potter. No, Harry Potter, well, Da Vinci Code, when it came out, was amazingly popular. And then yeah. and then Harry Potter came out and knocked him off. Yeah, yeah but that's a specific Da Vinci book. Code was very popular, but it was a shorter time period. Some of these are long-term, really, really famous. So that's why Tale of Two Cities, yeah, that goes. Yeah, I, like, I can't Tales imagine that Cities being on there. Little Prince. I think Tale of Two Cities. Okay, it looks like Tale of Two Cities. Everything. Let's put that on for now. I'm just and guessing. Just guessing. Okay, Tale. If we put Tale of Two Cities first, what then Da Vinci Code maybe. Maybe The Little Prince, since it's everyone reads it at school too. I've never read it. I've never read it. I've and never read it, but I know it's thing. a very, very popular book. I was shocked. That's why I remember that. I like the I like the porn adaptation of Tale of Two Cities. Okay, let's say Tale of Two Cities. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was a chicken version. No, yeah, it was the just... sa sale of two titties. Is what it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just copied. I just copied what was on the thing. But, so but you can put the same name. I didn't do them. But you can put the same. You name want to put you? I what I'm listening to is you want to put Harry Potter next. I think Harry Potter's first, but really? Yeah. Well, it's, it's oh, I put Jamie and Gail on the same team. Interesting. That's the first time I've done that. The top two were close yeah. together, so let's leave it for now, and we can always change it. So we have yeah. the cities and Harry Potter. What would be next? Yeah, but was Harry Potter that that one book, the first of the series, the Philosopher's yeah. Stone? You had that was the first, the first one? book. Otherwise, yeah, the one that's sense. there, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The maybe. Um, yeah, it would be da Vinci answer. Code. The Da Vinci Code is way up there. Yeah, it's, it's way up there. I think I think a lot of people are going to be getting zeros on this. <laughs> I think I think it's going to be really hard. It's going to be another uh, Punch and Judy. No. Lighthouses. Well, because no, of the way it's been to get one right. <laughs> Just if you. What should have happened? Is we should have matched them and then getting a match would have done it because this is very, very hard to put in order. Like people pointed out, if the first one is wrong, then everything after that's going to be. Maybe. Yeah. That, that's why if you say the same name 10 times, you get one point and we might win. Um, the Hobbit? No, I don't know. Yeah, the Hobbit, Hobbit was very movie. popular. The Hobbit was popular. So was the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, and then Your Nun was very popular, but not number one. You guys want a Little Prince? I've never even heard of it. Oh, I, I know it is more popular than you think it is. And if, <laughs> if, you, if you took high school French, you read, you read um, Little Prince and and you were told not to go out and buy an English copy to make it easier, but you did. So you actually ended up with two copies of Little Prince. <laughs> French and one in yeah. English. Um, and then, and then there was none. She's one one of the most 
popular authors of all time. Yes, she is. So if that's her most popular book, it's got to be up there now. And then there were none. What are the two we're missing? The Dream of the Red Chamber and she never heard of, of adventure. I've never Pinocchio. heard of them. I never heard of Dream of the Red Chamber. Yeah, I mean, Pinocchio, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. I've never heard of that either. I have I have read she. Maybe Pinocchio is. Oh. We're missing Pinocchio. And what else is missing off the list? The Dream of the Red Chamber. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what was the next one we wanted? She told us. The Dream of the Red Chamber. Mm -hmm. And Pinocchio. And Pinocchio at the end. Yeah, that doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> yeah, I think Pinocchio would be more popular. Pinocchio? Or how do you say it? <laughs> Pinocchio. Pinocchio. <laughs> I'm going to clarify for you guys, like I have for everybody else, the Harry Potter book is including Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So yeah, I think Wiki Wikipedia is supposed to use the British title. The British title. Yeah, it's yeah, it's both titles, but it's the same. Ben book. had the question and the concern, so he was. Concerned. Yeah, I noticed that. That was the <laughs> British title, and they. They changed it for the American market because the Americans mm -hmm. wouldn't know what the Philosopher's Stone was. So, right. Yeah. So the Americans aren't going to get that. Change it. They don't all play trivia, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but they should. We wanted to put Push Pinocchio up. So here's the list that we have now, folks. Yeah, Hill to Cities, Harry Potter, Da Vinci Code, The Hobbit. I still, I still wardrobe, think I still think Tell the Two Cities should be third or fourth. Really? That's what I think, but I'm I talk everybody out of it. I'm always getting them wrong, so don't listen to me. But I'm just putting it on record. I think Harry Potter's first and Da Vinci. We should do the opposite then. Or... Yeah, well, you are. You've got it opposite. I thought Da Vinci Code was number one. That was huge. It was at the time, and then Harry Potter came in. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's the problem. The, the, both, and the I think Mexico. eventually Harry Potter is going to move to the top of the list. But it, yeah, because it's only been, you know, we're only talking about a book for about the last thirty years. The Da Vinci Code was very, very popular, but for a relatively shorter time. Like yeah, I don't think yeah, there wasn't and much Tale of the City has been around since I was here. So the you know, Harry Potter is, you, there were seven books. So you couldn't just read a book. You had to go and no. find the first one. You, you didn't start with like book six. You went back and started. They were always read in order. So, oh, yeah. So, I, so, so the first book is, I mean, that was, that was phenomenal. Phenomenal. The Harry Potter was. world. And so, I agree with you all that the, those are the top six, three books probably. With the possibility I just of the think tell it to two being... cities, nobody buys nobody buys that. Why? Yeah, but okay, you gotta... where do you want to move Tale of Two Cities to then? I I want you guys to do what you want to do because I'm like I said, <laughs> I don't want to be the one that talked you out of it. I'm just thinking that Do you think Tale of Two Cities three? Wasn't that your No, your, I think it's going like four or really? five. Isn't that what you do? Yeah, that's my job, <laughs> is to go into each team in turn and talk you out of stuff. And it's, best to, and it's best to ignore me. But I'm putting on record, on record, I think it's the other way. Just so that I can quote about it. I am perfectly willing to move the <laughs> two cities down. No, no, you don't fall. You don't do what if, I say. If you, all, if you all think so, uh, uh, Susan. Sure. My thought is, the tale, this is lifetime sales. It means all time sales, not a oh, couple of years time, not the same. last decade time. And Tale of Two Cities has been a best selling book. 100 in years. Century. 150 years. What's it about? Yeah. I've never read it. French Revolution. 
Oh my gosh. I haven't read it. I was I'm, not educated you're, you're, well. Your stock is dropping fast. <laughs> it's about the French Revolution. Mm -mm. It took mm -hmm. it was a drama. It's uh Dickens. I read a bunch of Dickens once. That's too. Dickens? Yeah. 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 Uh, it was about, oh my gosh. Faith disappeared. Oh. Where's I mean? Let's see, what did oh. I I haven't read. Then there were none. I haven't read oh. Pinocchio. I think and Dream of the Red really Chamber. The, and uh, yeah, then I've never heard none. of the Dream of the Chamber. I have read all but three of these. Oh, uh, Faith got kicked out. She needs to be led back in. I put her in our group. I, I've read all but three of these. I've read all except Pinocchio and Don't Dream of the Red Chamber. I've read, never heard of that one. Harry and Potter, I like everyone the knows Hobbit, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and then there were none, and that's it. And Pinocchio. I, I've i never read Pinocchio. Yeah, I've lost my privileges, so yeah, I can't tell I, people I was back. just looking at that. Are we um, ready to go back? There's one team back. I don't know where everyone else is. Do you want to leave it the way it is, or you want to change it, folks? Mm -hmm. Leave it. If you're happy, then leave it. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, random. <laughs> Some of these books, I don't. I never. I read. read. I read a bunch of Dickens. I'm gonna say I read. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Sure. Okay. It looks like they're closing the room anyway. Okay. So, All right. I did not do it. So I did. I did. I'm the one that pulled the the trigger. Okay. The trigger I'm, I'm no right. changes, right? The way you have we have it. Yeah. yeah. If anybody needs to go back, let us know because well, that didn't I lost work right. What happened? I lost privileges. So do people need to go uh, back? No. 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 Okay. We're all like, what's the point? What's the point? Yeah, what's the point? <laughs> we were, we're we were arguing in our room. I was trying yeah. to talk about it and they're like either we got it right I'm or like, we no, didn't. I don't want to be fine. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh. That was that was an interesting category, interesting discussion there. Mm. Oh, what I got people to hear was been, interesting. I have different educations than other people. <laughs> well, we score between zero and 10, I tell you that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I took a picture of our <laughs> things, so. Okay. Are you going to go from 10 or from one, Faith? Um, we can go from, which, which, which way would you guys like to go? The top down. Top the top one. down. Okay. Yeah. So the first two books on our list actually have approximate sales according to Wikipedia is 200 million. So if you had Tale of Two Cities and The Little Prince for number one or number two, you get a point. Yes. Oh, oh, nice. 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 I heard it. Ow. <laughs> Listen to you. How? Thank you, Susan. They, they didn't listen to me. <laughs> okay. I said, there's no way Tale of Two Cities is up there. Who the is top. buying? Mm -hmm. Copies of the Tale of Two Cities. I mean, I read it's it. Been out, it was first published in 1859. High every freaking year. And People who had to. Every yeah. Year. Yeah. So yeah. book number three has Didn't 100. Didn't say willingly buy. Right. <laughs> book number three has 120 million sales. Um, and this is the only one with that number. And that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. I thought yeah. Three for three. Mm -hmm. I really thought that was okay. number one. I'm so now, sad. Faith. So did we, we, Susan. So did we. We had a Tale of Two Cities first and Harry Potter second. Harry Potter has 120 million sales. The first two books. So it had to be. It has to be. Ha Harry Potter has to be number three. All right. Mm -hmm. Number four. Right. Number four, five, and six. These books have to. They can be in any order because they, according mm. to Wikipedia, have 100 million sales, and. Some of you probably are not going to get this from what I could see. Um, how Wikipedia has it listed is, and then there were none by Agatha Christie. Mm -hmm. Dream of the Red Chamber, which is a Chinese book by Cao Zhuan Quin, and The Hobbit. Oh, we got a point. Oh, we got mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I think we got one. Wow. <laughs> look, look. And the next book, which would, yeah. Position seven. Yes, position seven would be The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Wow. At 85 million copies. 
sold. Oh, we had that one one mm -hmm. higher than that, but I we guess asked, that's the yeah. next class, yeah. So that's still wrong for us. Book number eight um, with 83 million sales is called She, A History of Adventure. This book was actually published in 1887. I've never heard of it, but after reading about it, I want to read it now. It's Where was it published? Um, it was published as an English book. Really? Bob it's read by it. H. Ryder Haggard. It's an adventure oh, novel. Oh, it's a Haggard novel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and um, which, which position was that in? She? Position eight? eight, yes. Eight, okay. So it and has to be exactly eight. It can't we, be nine. We got, yes. we got yep. that one. And if you have the last two, in nine or ten, because both of these, um, Adventures of Pinocchio and Da Vinci Code, Adventures of Pinocchio, they say 35 to 80 million, but since... 80 million and is where Da Vinci I, Code is. We can have both at the same time. I place. would never be. Oh boy, I screwed up big time. <laughs> Ditto. I'm yeah. glad you didn't listen to me, team. Yes. And I'm sorry you listened to me, team. <laughs> we all agreed. We all and, agreed. Mm -hmm. and surprisingly, the next six books on the list is the rest of the Harry Potter series. So, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Yeah. yeah. I would have thought it would have been that tattoo thing, the tattoo <laughs> dragon books on Twilight. They were so big. Maybe if we were to put them in an order based on like a 20th century or something, you know. I couldn't find something like that. That's good. The girl with the dragon tattoo. I didn't see it. Yeah. I didn't read it, but. And what's it like? And then after Harry Potter, it's the Alchemist, then the Catcher in the Rye, and then Bridges of Madison County. Oh, Catcher in the Rye. Yeah. Catcher in the Rye. Bridges of Madison mm -hmm. County. Yes. Boo. Bridges of Madison County be beat out Ben Hur by 10 million oh, copies. Like, ben -Hur. Oh. yes. And then so, you get into it's. I'll send the link to Wikipedia. Hmm. So, where, where is the, where where is L. Ron Hubbard's bestseller, who he claims was the bestselling book besides the Bible? Uh, well, they, they said they didn't put any religious books on here. Yeah. Well, it's not really religious. Dianetics. But these books is, were all is, fiction. Uh, so. Oh, yeah, supposedly. that's true. Dianetics is. I said you haven't got the OT3 story. yet, Rob. That's true. <laughs> so here is the list from Wikipedia. Awesome. I'm going to go change it right now. <laughs> <We're not laughs> the answers, I wanted to Next week, we will wreck it. We will. Fix our scores. Uh, next week we'll uh, retroactively go. Hey, I had, I had a lot no, of literature right. categories because today I'm, was like really heavy in movies. And well done, Faith. Thank you. Yeah. That was Doing different. That was, was this was this as bad as everybody thought it was going to be? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> yeah. That is faith fine. Rules it was fun. If anyone else ever does it, it's Faith rules. It, it, uh, there's <laughs> a way you can do this. It's called nobody else is allowed to do it but Faith. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, you know, I would have thought. I would have thought some of these books actually sold a lot more than those numbers show. I, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that doesn't sound like a, a really relatively speaking all that much. I think a lot of where this comes from is where they could get reliable, reliable sources. Cause when I was looking at um, some other fiction books, there was a lot of, um, cause there was, I was going to do a category with just those like best-selling authors in fiction. Mm. And they actually left off a lot of, like they left off the Don Quixote, all those types yeah. of books, because they can't verify any of that information. Oh, look, Charlotte Jane Austen Man. is not on there. Anna Green Gables. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if we were playing Terry, we were talking about um, this is honor rolls. This, if if somebody wanted to write a category which was books from more than a hundred copies to fifty million copies, and just choose ten, that'd be too easy because people could come up with ten pretty easily i think just naming okay. them you named seven harry potter books that's that's seven of them easy so what mono rules are is when you come back you have to you can't claim a point if another team has also claimed that point that's so like if two categories. teams say harry potter yeah yeah right and the sorcerer's Excellent. stone then neither gets a point so you want to pick you know, something really obscure or something right. really popular, thinking that they're uh, not going to put it on their list because it's too popular. Right. And I ran a thought by Ramiro too that if I would give you twenty books, and then you have to tell me which are in the top ten, and it doesn't matter if it's in the order or not. Wait a done just as bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would still be doing that. Charlotte's Web. Jeez, mm -hmm. these are some good books. Watership Down. If you guys haven't read it, isn't that's interesting. 
It is a very yeah. really scary book. It's awesome. Jonathan Livingston Seagull has sold 44 million copies. I never, I never read it. That's well, shocking. I'm, I had to read that. Talk about a bird. I saw the and movie. And had trouble publishing. It's, it's not a book. Lolita. Lolita. Oh. I loved Lolita. Lolita is one of the best books of all time. I just read really? the Wikipedia page yeah. for, I, and I watched some of the um, the clips. That was good. Okay. Flowers Ginger in the Man. Attic. <laughs> Oh, wow. Art That's is subjective. Book. Where is War and Peace on here somewhere? It's got to be. It is. Oh, no. Nobody 36 reads. million copies. Oh, uh, okay. Just above the Diary of Anne Frank at 35. Oh, cool. oh I didn't yep. see that. What, what was the number one? The number of that sold? Uh, 200 million. Wow. So War and Peace is six spots behind V.C. Andrews' Flowers in the Attic. <laughs> I remember that series. <laughs> that was so freaking popular. Ooh. And I only, and of the top top 10, I have three of those books that I've bought. The, the Beatles <laughs> didn't sell that many albums. <laughs> That's nice to know that kids, people are reading it. All right, so let's go to scores, 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 scores. Let's see how we did. I have a feeling it's not very high, which is Do good. we have to? Yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> so let's go with uh, this one right here, Cooper's Crew. Boy, we had oh, we, two. We had two. Just two. two. Okay, and Woo. we're not a red herring. Three. Uh, How horrible. Okay. I don't feel as bad. <laughs> All right, Russian hackers come from Siberia. Two. Okay, Ben Slaves. One. Ooh. <laughs> I thought we had two. Didn't we have two? One. One. Oh, I am not know Tokyo was eight or not. Nine had, or ten. It's six. Oh. 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 No, I'm not. We had the first five, then we missed one, then we got the second. Oh, oh my nice God. Job. Look at that score. 43 out of 50. Wow. that out. Nice work. Might, might be the biggest <laughs> from high low difference. Yeah. Yeah. Carl, yeah, Kevin, Paula, Vincent, and Caspian. And Vincent at, left early. At least we didn't lose our second place position. I so thought we were going to drop down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't be last when, when I'm in the house. <laughs> that was really good. really good okay now before anybody's allowed to go anywhere i have uh, kevin down for next week do we have people who are not who didn't work this week that wants to do a category for next week i have a yeah. one prepared that could be a bonus you want bonus i could be a bonus okay let's see what anybody else comes in jane did i see your hand go up I think I saw. No, no, I didn't see Jan's sound go up. <laughs> I saw uh, the top of Paula's head twitch. Not, not <laughs> my, uh, my technology. Uh, okay, well, you might and, bonus someday, which is a little easier. Not, you you want to know? You want to know the secret to a good bonus category? Not pick what your I favorite just did. Song, TV show, <laughs> movie, anything, and then you pick ten or twelve items that go with that show. And write totally different questions by searching in Google. We can so redo the bonus. That's not a bonus. That's just a no, no. That's how you do a category, a, a mystery category. That's how I do it. Um. um boop, 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 boop. When are you back, back, Susan? Roughly? Huh? When are you going to be back, roughly? Uh, maybe a month. Oh wow! I hope to be back by Memorial Day because I'm hoping that Paula and is going to come up here and maybe Kyle and. Maybe we could have a party up here. I don't oh, know. We get another know. barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll know in a week. Within the week, I'll know by next week. You're leaving the 26th? The Tuesday, the last Tuesday of the uh, If you're not back by Memorial Day and I have the time off work, at least be close enough I can drive to it. Where are you going? Everywhere. Washington, D.C., North yeah. Carolina, Buffalo, New York. When are you going oh, to that's Saint right. Uh, Saint Louis, are, you are you still doing? Are you still doing the trivia? Somebody's going to do the trivia. We'll still have trivia, but I won't. May not even be here. We'll oh, see. No. It'll be interesting. It's fine. Hey, uh, okay, so I have Kevin down for next week. This we'll is talk like one of those Ryan. calls for at church. I hated this when I went to church. I know. They're like, come to the front. 
Oh, okay, and then they sing in the same freaking song, and I'm like, somebody go to the freaking front. Yeah. We, we need yeah. somebody yeah. to be filled yeah. with the spirit. Yeah. Why? 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 There was a couple of times I went to the front just to I think I think you're going to trigger something. It's just some 10 people. questions you know you got them in your heart. Let them out. <laughs> Susan, you want you want four trivia uh four random trivia mystery categories? No, I don't. Okay. I, I want <laughs> I mean, you're going to do the whole thing. You tell us and we'll study up on it. Oh, if I mean if study everyone up on them. I, I you can put me down again. Uh, obviously, I, I still have like 10 in backup, so. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do four unless you guys take over. If yeah, so, if you give it up for volunteers, ones, I can do another one. Really bad ones. Oh. So no, somebody better step we up. We don't really want bad ones. Well, so Kevin, you might up. want to hold off for whenever I'm not here. Well, well we want to score some points. Okay, so I saw Rob. I <laughs> spy with my little eye, Carl. We're, okay, Gail can do bonus, and we need one, one more category. I'll do one. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff, the man. Oh, come on, you guys. Get on it. Get on it. Write these damn things. Come on now. Rob sits Thank and you. writes 10 a day. Sometimes. <laughs> Rob is retired, tired. though. <laughs> I write these at lunch at work and run them by my friends. It takes me a week to write a category. Oh, really? Yeah. I do them in a few minutes. I don't well, know what well. you're doing. <laughs> Well, mine are. Like, mine I like aren't to make a mystery. Of your guys. Oh, mine aren't well, Kevin, Kevin's, too. Kevin's are uh, always really. Yeah, they're uh, very on, intricate. So mine he, are he like. Puts his time in there. What's the name of a of the salt shaker? <laughs> I, I wrote okay, this Peggy's, category while Peggy's watching the Cardinal Home Opener. Week. All right. <laughs> What'd you say? Ah, uh, that's good. What'd you say? I, I wrote my trivia during the Cardinals Home Opening baseball game today. Go that's Cards! Good. We won our home opener. Nine to zero, baby. We kicked butt. Hey, Peggy, I'm putting you in. For the following week, I, I wore my Cardinals jersey and my Cardinals hat to work today. Did it work? <laughs> it what, did because we what, won. What you didn't have to do that for every game. What time do you guys start we'll on, in, ca in California time? time. In, at what time do you start? We we sign in at six and do the social thing, and then six thirty. I try to hit the button to see six. That. Okay, well, Make the room. and Susan, we'll you see. did that tonight, and that was great. Look at what time it is. Yeah, it's great. I've still got, I've got, still got stuff to do. And it's like, still today. <laughs> some some places it is. It's I don't know how you guys do it. I, I can't imagine just joining at nine o'clock. That's crazy. You guys are weird. Weird. I guess it's nice because you're done with home. You're done. You're home. You, you know, you've had your dinner. You've washed the dishes and. It's actually easier than when we used to do the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project because that was at seven my time, which was a little. Oh, yeah, right, for dinner. right at dinner and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's easier to wash in Washington. You can wash your dishes in Washington. <laughs> you can wash them, yeah. <laughs> You're awful. You're bad. Shame on you. Oh, um, book popularity. So when you go to Washington, D.C., what are you going to see? Oh, we're going Everything? to have dinner. The Washington so Monument. No, listen. So uh, Tuesday, get in at Washington seven, Mall, and then get to the hotel. Probably eat. That's Tuesday. Wednesday, <laughs> something in the day. I have a dinner <laughs> at night. Thursday, something in the day. I have a dinner with Robin Blumner, who's the CEO of. Right? Does she live there? Yeah. Uh, so you have sightseeing time. The CEO. You have sightseeing okay. time. Have you been there ah, before? Of course, but <clears throat> really mostly in the day. Um, that's Thursday, <clears throat> Friday, uh, whatever in the day. And then uh, Kelly Burke is coming over and we're going to go to Ford's Theater and see the, the musical Grace. And then Saturday at 1.30, I'm giving <laughs> a lecture to the Capillary Skeptics. And then Sunday, we fly to North Carolina. So um, don't, don't sit in the balcony. Oh, I am. I got front row seats in the balcony. Have you been the there before? Theater? The theater? Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's right. It's going to be right so you're visually able to see um, Lincoln's spot. Yeah, our whole family's seen a play there before. Yeah, Caspian and I went. When uh, I'm sorry. Did you say you were there before? Do you yeah. see? You, oh, okay, so you've seen we all saw, the sites though. We saw um, 
Eleanor was the play. It was a musical called Eleanor. We took my mom and my You've mom. seen the Smithsonian's and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. I've seen yeah. it. We're going to go to, somebody's taking us to do the memorials at night, which is beautiful. That's, what you, that's good. And I did that last time. Have you I, seen the treasury where they make the money? That's worth going to. I can't remember. I've done the Postal Museum a couple times. I love the Postal Museum. Where they print money is pretty good. Uh, I did that. We did the FBI building when you yep. did that years ago. I did that one. Yeah. Uh, we did the White House. Yeah. They don't do, I don't know if they do that anymore, but we did it when I was there. We did it before 9 11. We and wandered then, around the Capitol building with no security, just wow. running around with everybody. I barely yeah. remember doing that. We saw oh, I, wa that. I walked in. I walked into the rotunda. We walked in. I was there for five minutes. We ran into the rotunda. Uh, there was there was some vote going on in the Senate. We went up. To, we ran up to the gallery, watched till they finished the vote. We went downstairs and we were just walking around, mingling amongst the uh, the senators. And, wow. and that was yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, so I, there's my boys in front of the uh, Capitol, behind the Capitol, where they they scaled those walls on January oh. 6th, but this is- Oh, yeah. Well, oh, your boys did? Well, shame on them. Nope, wow. that's when they were little. He's 28 and he's 25. Oh. The little one with the yellow is a lieutenant in the army. Good he used to play trivia with us one night. Yeah, I remember. So yeah, we've seen, um, we went to the zoo. I that's went- them up. climbing on a million dollars. That's a million dollars. I think I've done, DC two or three times. The last time I was there, I was by myself, and I did the Postal Museum, the zoo. Yeah. Caspian did the Holocaust Museum. I didn't do that. I took Sterling to the zoo, and Caspian and my mom and my ex-husband, who was my husband at the time, and Caspian went to the Holocaust Museum. Do you remember that, Cas? Yes, and you should probably do it if you feel up to it. I think probably everybody who visits DC should. Well, I, well, I did the one in LA twice and it's pretty intense. So somebody, you should always, somebody, you should do a Holocaust museum, but I, I did the one in LA twice. And, and the best the food is in the ag building, the ag cafeteria. There's an ag building. Yeah. Department of Agriculture. Oh, I don't know if you could get in though. I just had to show my oh, badge because well, I was, well, yeah. If you look close, I'm on friends with you and Kevin Folta, and let's see how far I get. If you look close <laughs> at this photo, you can see something in my hand. Oh, yeah, we've been there. I, I have a dreamsicle. Oh, like a popsicle. Anything for me. Oh, well, it looks like on. a ping pong tap battle. I've been there. The memorial at night is really nice, it's beautifully done. Um, Lincoln Memorial. So, but this is Adrian's first time doing it. So, I had a remarkable experience on September 10th, 2001. Oh, wow. Our National Association of Parliamentarians got an opportunity to go on the floor of the House to hear presentations by the House and Senate parliamentarians. So we were right there the day before. Wow. We the last group. That's not, not, the, not the visitor gallery, actually on the floor. They weren't in mm -hmm. session at that moment. And then you came home that that day? Well, and then, of course, yeah, well, the, the conference ended soon. It was the last day of the conference. And, and I was staying home. for an after-conference event. And then, of course, it was, it was, it was the next day. Wow. But we are the last group who ever will get an opportunity to do that that isn't actually a mm -hmm. part of the house. That we're, the we're, we're allowed to do it, not... Because there's other people. Well, we had to get special permission <laughs> even. So yeah, there's people, there's people that actually got in. in. Yeah. Dale, how did you get home from your conference? Because there was no flying for yes. a few days. I, I ended up, I lived in Michigan at the time. And I ended up totally stuck. Every rental car was rented, but I used a scooter. So I couldn't even use a rental car. And my wife drove from Michigan to Washington to pick us up. Oh my God. The hotel we were staying in, I was on the other side of the hotel, but had I been on the other wing of the hotel, we could have watched the planes coming in. I didn't mm -hmm. even know about it because that morning I had nothing. So I was just in bed reading a book and she called me and I have no idea how she got in, but she called me at noon and she said, are you okay? Because she had been there before that. She had to get back to go to work. And I said, fine, why? She said, you don't have the television on. And I said, no. 
I'm just sitting by myself in a hotel room reading a book. She said, turn on the television. Oh my God. That must have been and then I had the incredible <laughs> experience of watching this enormous hotel slowly disappear. And when I got to the meeting that was scheduled for noon, there were people who'd been out exploring that day who actually watched the planes hit the, hit the uh, building, the, the Pentagon building. Wow. And they said, we looked at it, we said, that plane is flying awfully low. Look at that. And then, of course, it hit. There are people who think it was a missile. Can you imagine that? Well, it was a plane because they saw no, I believe you, but there are people who think that. I know yeah. there are people who think almost anything. There's people right? who think the earth is flat. The, the, the scariest thing I think I ever saw, she came and got me, and we got on the car to go back, drive back to, to Michigan. From they, The airplanes would not cancel the flights, so they would, didn't have to reschedule them, right? We were just stuck there. And as we were going back, we got to an exit to New York City. And all it said was closed. Huh. Wow. New York City was closed. <laughs> well, I'm not going to have any bad dreams tonight. Not at all. <laughs> I'm trying not to look at any, any visuals for the war in Ukraine. I'm reading, well, but I'm not what's, visually looking at what's it. What's going on in Ukraine is so disturbing and so gut-wrenching. I am just, you know... Uh, I feel guilty for being here and having and fun laughing. tonight. Yeah. You know? yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think about it all day long. And I'm so worried that Vladimir Putin, Putin is going to do some something like start a nuclear war. Yeah. Um, yeah. Back to just... stoicism. I don't, I don't read it because if it, if it does happen, we can't do anything about it. Yeah, Mark keeps going and he'll come in every so often and give me some headline. I'm like, and what are we supposed to do with that bit of information? I'm depressed already. What, what, what can I do? I mean, with the Wikipedia world that we're in, we can fight back against pseudoscience and we can fight back against vaccines and stuff. That I have something I can do, you know, help counter misinformation. But I ran into an anti-vaxxer. My mom let us Oh, on purpose? Her. No, my ah, mom let us borrow her. Was my mom and then I backed up and ran Oculus. over him again. <laughs> my mom let us borrow her Oculus Rift. So we've, and Ramir wanted to try out Facebook's metaverse. And so we created accounts and got in there and I met some guy from LA who's Armenian yesterday and we were talking and we were asking about each other's lives and stuff. And we we're talking about the pandemic and asked about kids. And he was just like, well, I was just gonna say, cause if you were gonna think about having kids, you know, pregnant women can't be vaccinated. Yes, they can. And I, and I had to, I was explaining to a complete stranger with a set of avatars that no, it's perfectly fine for you to get vaccinated while you're pregnant. In fact, it's yeah. a good thing because it protects your baby and it's yes. not harmful. And I'm thinking, here I am educating somebody in the multiverse. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did he think getting pregnant canceled out the vaccine? How did that and work? He thought, he thought it wasn't safe for a pregnant woman to get a vaccine. How many? Uh, are we at a how about a vaccinated of... woman to get pregnant <laughs> yeah right are we so like getting a vaccine while now? you're pregnant causes adverse effects to the baby and it's like actually no if you don't getting the vaccine will help protect your baby from complications of having covid while it's in utero i've seen what happens to some of these kids now so get your vaccine actually we... getting getting the vaccine while pregnant is probably the absolute best thing you can do because babies can't get the vaccine so the only right. only hope they I, have was is working, to get some I was working i was working on a case yeah. today of a child whose mother caught covid in their eighth month of pregnancy uh, and the developmental delays the child has because of it was the mom <clears throat> not vaccinated um i don't know if she could have gotten vaccinated i don't think there was vaccines at the time oh okay yeah, yeah. Um, because of of when it happened and how old the child is she she may not have been eligible to get a vaccine because they weren't available at the time. So it's you, the consequences guys, of having a high fever while you're pregnant are terrible. Do you guys know, is there, if you are fully vaccinated, you've had your boost in the whole business, but you have a history of, of, of cancer uh, and you're a cancer survivor, 
is, are your chan are your chances greater uh, of having a more severe case? Uh, I don't think of, we know. Uh, I from I don't what think I there's anything higher. Mark has got Mark has prostate cancer right now, and it's not. If you're on immunosuppressants, then the vaccines you might have a higher risk, anything, but it's better to have the vaccines and not have them. In that yeah, case. no, because a friend a friend of mine just told me she last she contact contacted last week. Uh, she ran like about 101 fever for about a week, for about four days. She had trouble breathing. She had all kinds of stuff. I, she's, I, she, I think she's finally getting better. I, she's fully vaccinated, but, mm -hmm. and, and her husband, but her husband didn't get anything. So I was yeah. just wondering, because she, she is, uh, she's been, I think, cancer free for several years, but mm -hmm. I just wonder if they if they, it makes the chances of her getting it and getting a bad case of it more more likely. There's there's so much we don't know. There's so much we don't, don't know. We and the results of the challenge trial has just come out and a single droplet is enough to cause an infection. Droplet of what? COVID. Um, a, 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 like a droplet from a sneeze oh, or stuff yeah. carries enough virus to um, 10 microns. Mm -hmm. um, or about a single droplet can lead to infection. We I just got, I, I got my, I got my uh, second, my second boost the other day. So how long do I have? I get before mine it takes in the effect? morning. So how long does it take before it's two effect? weeks? About a, two weeks? Yeah, two, weeks. Weeks. two weeks. But you're so good. Two. I mean, I, I see cases you're where already people good. are not vaccinated and they catch and the COVID pneumonia and long COVID, these people are on four or five liters of oxygen. They, they can't, their diffusing capacity is down. Um, I, you know, if we've got somebody that we're told's on a ventilator and this is what's happening in my line of work, it's just like, well, we've got to wait till we're told that they're dead or somebody makes some type of decision. And we're getting notified that people, like their families are turning to take them off of the ventilators because they've caught it and there's nothing that they can do. But they're mm -hmm. all unvaccinated people, right? Some of them are unvaccinated. Some of them have core morbidities that like if you have cancer and you're actively going through chemotherapy, I've read it in people's medical records that their physicians are telling them you need four or five shots. It might actually not do anything, but it's better than nothing that we have at this point mm -hmm. because the vaccine may not work because you're that immunocompromised. Right. And we're not, and we're looking at the long term. Good night, right, everybody. Yeah. I think this is a uplifting conversation. Yeah, I know. I'm depressed. I'm getting more and more depressed. I think so I, I wanted to ask you, right. Susan, is Adrian going to be coming here too? Yes. Have, okay. So we have to find somewhere to put her. <laughs> One of us can take a couch. We'd have to get like a nice, nicer, comfortable couch to sleep on. <laughs> I don't think it's a problem. I'm fine with a couch or Jeff that he would take. Jeff. How close are you to Jeff? Jeff. Jeff's not that Jeff's far, not maybe that 30 far. minutes. Hey, uh, Sue, Susan, what time are you, are you about? Are you approaching 10 o'clock now? Yeah. So yeah. you guys are only two hours from us. Okay, I thought it was yeah. three. All right. Yeah, we're two. Yeah. So Faith, you could put us, you could put this anywhere. I mean, I'm like Paula. We could just, just whatever. And what days well, are you going to be here? We're with friends where it's not a big deal. What days are you going to be here so I can't ask off for work? Oh, well, uh, we're flying in on Sunday, May 1st. Okay. And when are you? And we get in at nine. Good night, Kyle. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. We get okay. in at nine. You're close to the airport or no? Yeah, we're close to there. 30 minutes. Okay, cool. And we leave on Wednesday the 4th at 11 in the morning. Okay. Because my boss is actually taking all of next week off, leaving me in charge. And I'm going to do the same thing to her in two weeks. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> that'll be really fun. So yeah, and Jeff wants to spend some time and I don't know when you guys are gonna to put together a talk, right? I am coming yeah. to give a talk, right? Yeah, I mean, it'll probably be a Tuesday, I guess Tuesday or Monday night, right? And you got a location? Jeff does, yeah, Jeff. Is it is it some place where we'll have PowerPoint or do I just talk? Uh, well, the, the place that Jeff usually uses. Um, Has the ability for PowerPoint. Yeah, I think if we can, I think we can figure it out. We have a projector that we can use, or Jeff has one, mm -hmm. and then I think he has like a screen. Okay, so. and 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 hopefully we get a few people show. 
Yeah. <laughs> we will get a few people to show. It's not going to be Omicron, so. Yeah, well, uh, um, yeah, I think a few people. Dunning, like, Dunning really enjoyed coming out to see you guys, so you just said it was, yeah. everybody was a little short on people because of Omicron. Yeah, and you I think uh, there were probably like uh, 15 people maybe that came out for that. So, yeah, hopefully more because that'll be great. All right. Okay, I'm ending this. Okay. Right, bye. bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Next week. All right.